All right, hello, hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. So glad you could make it. I'm very excited for this. And I hope you guys are too. <laughs> Sorry for pushing the stream back half an hour. Um, I decided to make bread this morning and it took a little longer than I thought it would, so... <laughs> uh, but now it is beside me and I... You, you might hear me eating because it's, it's lunchtime around now, so... <laughs> I'm just a little bit hungry, but you know. It's all good. <laughs> also, I don't know if you can tell, but I, I'm trying a, a different sort of, uh, I guess, quote-unquote layout with the the game uh, display. At least for these kinds of games, I feel like the more cinematic view is kind of more appropriate for, like, this kind of stuff, so I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you like the, the border, if you like this kind of thing, just... So yeah. <laughs> I am open to suggestions <laughs> and feedback. Yeah! More sads! Or inspiration, I'm not sure. Um, I've never played a bird story. I mentioned this in the uh, To the Moon stream, but I haven't played a bird story before. I have played uh, Finding Paradise though, so that I kind of remember what happened there, but this is gonna be completely new for me. And from what I remember from the description of the game, it's like... I think it said it's it doesn't have... Like, it, it's a story without words or something, or... I don't know if that means there's just no, like, there's no, like, narration or dialogue at all or anything like that, but... Again, I guess we'll just see what happens when I get into it, so... Yeah! Oh, good! I'm glad! <laughs> and that way you can also kind of see the, the chat a bit better. It's a, it's a nice pink today, I, I appreciate that, I really like that. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's... let us begin. Let us start a bird story. Oh, hello. Let's see. Uh... Escape... Shift... Or space... Oh, is this just how to move? Oh, hello. Oh, I see. I'm I'm an idiot. <laughs> I, was just, I was supposed to click on the first thing. <laughs> Already, <laughs> this is up to a fantastic start. <laughs> oh gosh, that's funny. <laughs> okay, it is visual, purely visual storytelling. Awesome. Oh, I love this kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, I guess, like... Because... This... This character... Is the main... Like, the, the guy, the client... From Finding Paradise, right? And then it kind of all intertwines and connects and stuff. Oh, it's so genius. I love when that happens. The storytelling genius of these people, I swear. But I guess that means unfortunately you won't you won't be able to hear my my lovely voice acting until until we get to finding paradise, so <laughs> which isn't too much of a loss. <laughs> Oh, those are funky sheets. That looks like, um... That looks like those, like, 25-cent candy things you get at, like, um... At, like, the, the grocery store. They're in, like, the little turn things. You, like, put a quarter and then you, like, turn the knob and you get, like, a bunch of, like, colorful candies. <laughs> Sorry, I'm ruining the mood. <laughs> Ooh. We all know I'm a good sucker for a good sky view. <laughs> Aw, tossing and turning. Is that a, is that a clock? 
Oh! Hello? Oh, what? Wait, wh Oh! Oh, I'm following! What the heck? Am I going backwards? In time? What? Huh? What? Oh, this is... a little creep. IT'S THE PAPER AIRPLANE! <laughs> what the heck? Oh, is that a bird on my head? What? So if I try to go forward, this clock appears. Oh, that's weird. What? This is a little unsettling, not gonna lie. <laughs> Okay, we are in a classroom. Fun. <laughs> I certainly do not miss my classroom days. <laughs> See, making paper airplanes in class. <laughs> These freaking squirrels keep making reappearances. I say that, but I think that's maybe only the second time I've seen these squirrels. Maybe they appear in, uh, in Finding Paradise, I just can't remember. <laughs> oh. Oh, hey! Oh my gosh! Oh, no! Oh, is that a cat? Is that a- Wait. What? Uh-oh! Oh no! Oh no! Not the wrath of the teacher! Ah! <laughs> Did- She just kicked him out of class?! What?! Dang, what a terrible teacher! Jeez. I'm trying to remember, was this a scene or part of like a scene in Finding Paradise? Because this layout seems very familiar. Like this whole hallway. Oh, uh, eh. Eh. <laughs> just, just, we gotta keep going. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> I do not care! Later! <laughs> yeah, I feel like I remember this. Like the lockers started turning into trees. And then we're outside. I swear this is a scene. <laughs> we got kicked out of class. I was like, eh, I'm gonna just leave class. I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I don't care about being in school right now. It's time to live up my days as a carefree child. I got blamed for throwing a paper airplane in class. I just made the paper airplane. I didn't instigate the throwing. That was not me. That was not the purpose. Oh, where am I now? Oh, is this the apartment building? <laughs> Did our man just walk all the way home or something? <laughs> yeah, I guess that's... Is there anything up here? Mm, nope. Nope. 
<laughs> he really just decided I'm done. I'm, I'm done with school for today. I don't care if it's only like 12.30. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> Ah oh, yes, the return of the uh, the elevator is always uh, always coming to our uh, our floor when we press the buttons. Ah oh, yes, this creepy unsettling music. What? Uh, I'm sorry. Are there is, are those rats? Does our building have a rat problem? Is this... is this my place? Okay, yeah, it is, okay. <laughs> that or, or this little child just broke into someone's apartment! <laughs> oh my gosh. Yep, those are definitely some words I can read. Okay, is it just me, or does that oven stove look like it has a face? Like, <laughs> I don't know if this is just me, but it, look, it's got like the eyes, and then like the, the eyebrows, and like under eyelashes and stuff, and then that's like the mouth. <laughs> I don't know why this is so amusing to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Stove. How's it going? I did school today. Are you proud of me? Where am I? I'm just turning on all the lights. Fun. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'll stop. <laughs> okay, nothing else to see in here. <laughs> He's like, alright, coast is clear. Time to jump on the bed! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, and here's our room! Wait, is that a collection of, like, all the notes that he's gotten from, like, his parents or something? Like, saying that they weren't home or whatever? Aw, oh, he's hungry. Hmm. What do we have for snackage? I give you some of my, my bread, but, uh... I don't really think it'll work between the computer screen and here. <laughs> exactly, Mr. Stove is the best character, right up there with Rice Bot. <laughs> He's literally just here eating food on the couch, watching cartoons, skipping school. <laughs> Really living the life. At least I'm under the assumption he just cut class after getting kicked out. I don't know if he actually did. <laughs> but I'm just gonna keep going with that. <laughs> oh, making more paper airplanes, I assume. Whee! <laughs> oh, uh, you good, buddy?
Oh, up and at him. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> He's got good aim. <laughs> Hello, welcome. You missed me busting a gun over a stove that looked like a face. <laughs> yes, this is as dumb as it sounds. <laughs> Morning daily routine. Wait, I'm like, uh, I was like, where's the door? <laughs> Help, where's the door? See? See, that's, that's the... <laughs> it looks like a face! <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm gonna keep moving on. Oh, wait. Uh, I need my backpack, I'm not gonna leave without my backpack! All right. Oh, oh, and my books. That, that. Come on. Aw, cute. I'm picking up a little snackage. Obtained muffin. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Do I have like a muffin health bar or something? <laughs> Take an umbrella. Alright. Uh, you just like, screw it. <laughs> I make my own rules! Oh, that, uh, uh. <laughs> He really does not give a crap. <laughs> My gosh. Dewey! Dewey! Welcome, sir! I'm glad to see you here. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be the, the biggest Plot twist in the entire game. <laughs> oh. Ah! What is wrong with this teacher? She's really not nourishing the minds of these young students. Or at least this guy, anyways. Man. I guess so. Like, I haven't been to school in years, so like. <laughs> I guess there's no outdoor recess. Everyone's just like, nah, we're not gonna get one. And he's just like, screw it! I wanna jump around in the puddles! Save though! Oh my gosh, I actually love it when it's like pouring, but like. You, you, there's like a difference between like when there's like warm rain and cold rain and like I kind of like it better when it's like uh, I guess Well, it depends on the weather though, but uh, generally speaking I like cold rain better than warm rain and like you're just it's just pouring and coming down And you just run out with like all your clothes on and you don't care that you're getting soaking wet. You're just like wee rain It's just oh, it's so much fun <laughs> Yeah, I am a bit of a child, but I don't care Might as well have fun while you're on this planet. Why not? Find little joys in some of the weird waves of the weather. Why not just splash in a few puddles in the rain? Whee! <laughs> The hopping function is the best thing I've ever seen out of this entire game franchise. Hello? Hello? Uh, why did the trees just move? <laughs> oh, that's creepy. 
Huh? Is that a... Is that a badger? Is that a badger? <laughs> is this kid finding a badger? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, it is a burb! I know, burb! Are you okay? You okay, little burb? Oh, it's sunny out now. Symbolism! Oh no, is one of its wings hurt? Oh no, poor thing. I'm just gonna slowly approach the bird. Can I? Wait, can I approach the bird? Can I approach the bird? No. I cannot approach the bird. <laughs> the game will not let me approach the bird! Must retreat! Oh, not again! <laughs> Is the bird hiding in his backpack? Oh, <gasps> Stop! Stop, I love that. Oh, I have a bird in my backpack! There's a bird in the backpack! I love it! I love it! <laughs> Cute! So, moral of the story, this guy is the beginnings of a Disney prince. Is that what I'm getting at here? <laughs> Why? What? Wait. Wait. Why? <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> Why? Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's creepy. I'm just get up. Uh... Uh, <laughs> wait, oh, <laughs> what? This is weird. Why are the trees just moving? Wait, well, hold on, what's up here? Before I go to the obvious pet hospital. Okay, nothing there. I'm here to rescue this small burb. Establishment is this. I shake my head at you, sir. <laughs> I guess I just go home with an injured bird in my backpack. Ah! <laughs> Hey, I guess! <laughs> My parents will never know! What? Okay, there's... Okay, the one time someone's at the front desk. Are you kidding me? Dang! <laughs> Sneaking past security. Let's go. <laughs> We're carrying illegal goods in our backpack. And <laughs> the code name Bird. <laughs> I 
Alright. We're almost there, Birdie. We're almost back home. Just, just wait. Hold on. Can I go into any other places? Nope. You cannot break into anyone else's house. Oh. Hello. <laughs> I wasn't doing nothing. I, I didn't sneak a bird into the apartment. That'd be silly. Psh. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just slide into my house, make sure the coast is clear. Oh, what's that sparkle up there? What? Oh, the light. Oh, another note that says something. Let's... All right. Yeah, he really does just have a pile of notes from his parents or whatever. All right, Birdie. You can go outside. It's safe here. Well, safer, I guess. No badgers up here, at least not to my knowledge. I think they got rid of that problem weeks ago, but who knows? Oh, next the clothesline! Cute! Hmm. Oh, does he need water? Was that what that was? Do I have to get the birdie some sustenance? Does the bird want my muffin? I might check. Oh, I see what's going on. No, I don't... <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't want to go to the title screen or exit the game. <laughs> Just get me out of that menu. Oh. Oh, oh there we go. I have water for my birdie friend. In this, I'm assuming it's a bucket or a bowl or something. It looks like a box that was just randomly in our bathroom. All right, Birdie, have at it. I have brought you water. Or do I have to leave first? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize you couldn't, you couldn't drink with an audience. My bad. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, Alright, what now? What now? What now? Can I... Oh! Oh, okay, I do have to get some sustenance for the birdie. More sustenance. Alright! Fridge, what do you have for me? Who's that slice of bread? Is that bread for the birdie? I give some of my bread to the birdie, but it's a uh, cheesy garlic bread. I don't think the birdie really wants that. Oh, where'd he go? Where'd the birdie go? Oh no! Oh! <laughs> You prankster! <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh. <laughs> Stop! This is too cute! Stop it! I'm going to... <laughs> it's like, I'm just gonna step on your bread! Okay, uh... Oh, I had to press at the same time. Okay. And... There we go! We have... Bread... Um... Uh, I just ripped a piece of bread to shreds. Enjoy! <laughs> Finest cuisine for only the best birds. <laughs> Enjoy. 
Same, dude. Whew. No matter how much sleep I get, I never manage to not be tired. What's going on with our Brady friend? Oh, is it trying to get over to the other building with all the other birdies? Be frustrating not being able to fly. Oh. Man. <laughs> oh, bumping at him. Wait, is the bird coming with us to school? Wait. What? Huh? I'm sorry, what? in the same reality anymore? Or oh, things just got very artsy because of what just happened. Dude just freaking dived out of his balcony and floated down with a freaking umbrella! <laughs> Excuse me! Okay! Uh, well, yeah, that, that, that happened. Um... Then again, I think we, I should have noticed something when the trees were moving. Uh, that's not exactly normal. I don't think that, I don't think much of this is really normal. <laughs> if I'm being uh, perfectly honest, looking back at everything now. <laughs> oh, is someone finally here? Can we get this birdie some help? Open the door! I'm a small child with an injured bird. Yay! Cheers! Here's to your health, Birdie! We got this! Are we just... Are we playing a vet assistant for the day? I guess we are. Yeah, that would probably be a good indicator that this whole thing is a dream. But you know what? I forgot that. <laughs> oh man. It is so easy for me to get so sucked into things that I forget the small details that explain why things are happening and I just end up confused. <laughs> Not knowing that there was a very obvious explanation for things. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's just the joys of watching me play a video game. Me missing all the obvious details. What am I doing in here? I don't know what I just picked up. But it was something. Take this. Whatever I- whatever it was. Whatever I got for you. 
<laughs> oh, is it bandages? Oh, yes, that makes sense. We are at a veterinarian's after all. Oh, Bernie's all patched up! Yay! Oh, do we have to leave our birdie friend behind? I guess it's got healed up, but... Hi, birdie! See you later! Are we kidnapping the bird again? <laughs> are, are we just... Are we taking the bird? <laughs> are we smuggling the bird again? <laughs> oh my gosh! We smuggled the bird! Again! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Why are we a bird smuggler? Why is that what our life has come to as this child? <laughs> a bird smuggler. <laughs> Not quite yet, Birdie. You gotta wait a bit longer. Your wings still hurt. But soon you'll be able to fly with all the other birdies. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Toss the bird some toast. Oh, is it daily time to get kicked out of class? Oh, locked out this time, I guess. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Were we trying to play like catch fetch with the bird and the bird is just like, nah, I'm gonna take this. <laughs> Thanks though. <laughs> oh, I guess we are back home? Interesting. Watch cartoon to this birdie? <laughs> Wait, did I actually? <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I did not realize I had such a, a German accent about me with that particular word, but you know. <laughs> oh, we got to jump in more puddles! Yes! Oh my gosh, are we like racing to see who can splash in as many puddles as we can, as we can first? Oh my gosh, stop! Wait, this is so cute! Wait. Ah. I cannot control this very well. Ah. There we go. And one more time. I'm assuming this is... Yeah, it's body water. I can't get to that. Whee! We have both filled the splash quota. <laughs> Bird doesn't know what a sneeze is. Eh. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh! You think that's a boat? Cute! It's Birdie Show and Tell! I love
love it! What do you think we now teach? I've got a bird friend, and he doesn't like you. Is that the ice cream truck? Yo! <gasps> we get some ice cream! Heck yeah! Let's go! What kind of ice cream is that? Like, bright green. Is that mint? <laughs> that has the same vibes as that one vine with the dude who takes his lollipop out of his mouth and then gives it to the snake. That's literally the same thing. Hey, watch it. It's bird crossing. Did our ice cream cone just transform into a book? Oh, are we, are we gonna play on the seesaw? <laughs> Did this bird just gather up an audience for us? It just launched us into space. I love it. Cucumber. Hmm. I don't know if that would taste like much. Are we? Oh, the birdie got it! We're playing fetch with the baby airplane! Yay! Fantastic. 10 out of 10. Is this a convenience store? Is that bread in the back? We getting bread? Let's get this bread! Get this bread, gamers. Let's go. Can I get more bread? <laughs> Wait, can I just- can I just leave? Oh no, I have to pay for it. <laughs> I'm gonna just walk out of here with this loaf of bread. <laughs> <laughs> we're smuggling birds, now we're smuggling bread. <laughs> well, the trees are rearranging again. What was that? Oh, it's another birdie. Hello. Are we a bird whisperer now? Oh, no, it's gone. <laughs> it's like, nah, man. I ain't that stupid. <laughs> Eh, who needs him? Our birdie's better anyway. <laughs> My crimes for everyone to see. Shh. No one can know. <laughs> Actually, speaking of bread, I'm gonna eat some of my bread because I. Because I want to. A little bit warm. Yummy. What, are we gonna read with the bird? Oh, we are gonna read with the bird! <laughs> Since when does this bird know how to read? I guess the dream state anything can happen. Still. <laughs> oh wait. Wait, is is he trying to show the bird how to fold a paper airplane? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, wait. Is this where- is it- are they making a giant paper airplane? Is that what's happening? So I know that that's a, a thing that happens at some point. Yeah, it looks like they're making a giant piece of paper to make a giant paper airplane out of. Oh, and that's the last page from his book. go. There it is, the giant paper airplane. We get to control it. Ah, look at us! Oh my gosh! Wow, look at this! Look at this, the city skyline. We're just flying over top like we don't got a care in the world. Whee! <laughs> Oh, that's awesome! Oh, where are we? Kind of like... Ooh, it's like a snowy mountaintop! Wow! Oh, are they looking for a home for a birdie friend? Ooh, this looks significantly more tropical. I think. Nope, this place is taken too. Well, I guess we gotta look somewhere else. Ooh, I like the color the sky is turning. Like this, this kind of uh, ombre blue to like purple to pinkish. That's. That's my whole aesthetic right there. That's my jam. Absolutely love it. Wow! <gasps> Look at this! Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous! <gasps> oh my goodness, hold on. I gotta take a screenshot of this. There we go. Wow! Oh, this is so pretty! I love it. Right. Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, it almost worked, but then they came back, so no dice. Oh well. Woo! Whoa! Look at that! Wow! Now this is a desktop background waiting to happen. Ready? <laughs> I love 
love games like this where you can just kind of, you know, go at your own pace and appreciate all the little things and the details that make it kind of what it is. Especially the, the art and the backdrops and stuff. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And we are... Where are we? One more try. Ooh, that looks like it's already occupied. It's got a... That's Meg's. No dice. Alright, looks like we have one more nest we can try. Wherever that is. That waterfall. So cool. Oh, it looks like this nest is occupied too. Nope. Come on, birdie. Let's keep going. Oh, wow. The waterfall just travels all the way down. Wow, that's so cool. Our adventure is over for now. And all the pages come back to his book. me. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that! Oh! <laughs> Jeez, uh, jump scares much? Yeah, that, that happened! I guess... Wait, can we check on our birdie friend? Hello, birdie! Hello! What's up? Okay, I'll stop bothering you. Da, 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 da. Back to school. Back to the old grind. Back to getting kicked out of class. Oh no! Unassuming. <laughs> this music is too much. What? Ah! 
I'm sorry, is that some random, like, Super Mario reference or something? What's happening? <laughs> Uh oh oh, oh. I have to just turn horror real real quick real fast. What's going on? Wait. What? Huh? Interesting. How's our birdie buddy doing? Still just perched there. Wistfully looking at other birds. Oh, it's starting to rain! Take a shelter, birdie! Good, good. Wait. Were its bandages off? Oh no, it was just the angle. Okay. <laughs> Oh, is he feeling guilty about taking the bird? Nothing to throw at it this time, huh? Oh, are we going back to the, the, the veterinarian? Why are our parents never home? Looks like we really are on our way to the veterinarians. <laughs> Guess he was feeling kind of guilty. Of taking the bird. It's, you know, it's his friend. But bird friend's not gonna get better like this. I guess, uh, I guess we're running. Oh my gosh. 
Well, this took a turn I wasn't quite expecting. Oh, jeez! Lightning's taking chunks out of our paper airplane. Oh my gosh. Where are we even going? Whoa. What just happened? Wait, where's our birdie friend? Hello? Birdie? Birdie, where'd you go? Oh, there's a backpack. Wait... What just happened? Did that just imply that the bird died? Or... What? Those dang trees rearranging themselves. Oh. Now just faded memories.
Sorry, I haven't, like, really said anything for the past few minutes, but, like... <laughs> I... What, what is there to say? This... I... Yeah... I don't know. This is the screen that we started on. Right on the screen menu. Wait, that's chirping. Is that a birdie friend? <gasps> it's our birdie friend! <gasps> Yay! Oh, I was so worried! Oh my gosh! Yay! <gasps> Does birdie friend have a birdie friend too? <gasps> oh my goodness! Birdie's been out socializing. <gasps> birdie can fly! <laughs> well, it's still got a bit of the bandage left on its wing, though. Let's just get that off you real quick. There we go. All better. Yay! Very happy for you, birdie! What's that? Is that a paper airplane? The bird folded that itself, I swear. <laughs> Are we sending off the birdie? <laughs> oh no, why am I crying? <laughs> I was doing so well, I almost got through this whole thing without crying! <laughs> Alright. Send off the birdie. In three, two, one. Ah, oh, man, it got me right at the end.
Oh, that was just lovely. Oh wow, it's translated into so many languages. That's awesome. Oh, and they finally found a home. A nest called their own. And there we go. Segways right into finding paradise. Coming one day. <laughs> yeah, I guess this came out fairly earlier than uh, than Finding Paradise did. I'm not sure when this game came out. I believe Finding Paradise came out in 2018. So. All right. Well. Just give me a sec, and I will get Finding Paradise up and running, and we can continue from there. This would be a good time to take a bit of a water break, so I'm gonna do that. If you guys need to grab any food or water or anything, feel free to do so now. I'll be waiting a few minutes before I get back into the game, so just uh, yeah, take some time to get whatever you need for yourself. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's a common uh, occurrence. Cause like everyone was like, oh wow, Finding Paradise, it's like the sequel to, to the moon and they played that, but then they're like, oh, there was like a, a prequel to Finding Paradise? There's a thing that that relates to that? And then they played it and they're like, oh, well, that hits a bit harder than I thought it would. <laughs> Oops. Actually, hold on. Do I have enough tissues? I don't doubt I'm gonna cry at least a little bit, so I want to make sure I'm prepared. <laughs> Finding Paradise, at least in terms of when I first played Finding Paradise to uh, to the Moon, I played Finding Paradise um, a bit later 
than to the moon? Or I guess more recently than to the moon, and yet... I don't think I remember this game as much. Like, I know it was... It was interesting. It was very... <laughs> it it kind of had a plot that kind of threw me through a loop, and I wasn't sure what was going on. But... I don't know. So it'll be, it'll be really fun to kind of, you know, uh, rediscover it all over again. With our favorite wacky characters, Neil Watson and uh, Eva Roslin. <laughs> that time was that neil oh it was eva oh dang girl you got some moves <laughs> neil's just like oh what the beep eva that's how you keep everyone alive including the squirrel that's why i need to be behind the driver's wheel you idiot <laughs> hope you learned something Oh, uh, look. Sometimes it's either us or them. By keeping ourselves alive now, we can be around to stop more self-inflicting critter casualties later. Logic. Enlightening. We should be rising at the pa arriving at the patient soon. I could use a snack before then. Do you mind? Wow. Only you would pack the glove box full of apples. <laughs> <laughs> Apples! <laughs> yeah, well... My nephew decorated the Christmas tree with them every year. And then I have to eat them for ages. Apples on a Christmas tree, huh? Don't you dare say it. Don't you mean... Pine apples? <laughs> Neil, I want to smack you upside the head. How dare you? How dare you? Puns in this car? Unacceptable. I'm not hungry anymore. She shut up. <laughs> she shoved it in his mouth. <laughs> oh, I've missed these two. They're so funny. Oh, man. Oh, hey! Punk emo child, that was so rude! Excuse you! Whoa, check out this rad bike! Why can't we go to work on these instead? Because we are here to visit dead people, not get ourselves killed. Really? I couldn't tell after the trauma of you driving like a stunt double. Besides, we're visiting half-dead people. Very different things. Yeah, well, let's hurry and keep it that way. 
All yours. All right, let's roll. Let's roll. Let's go. <laughs> Me and Neil have the same brain, galaxy brain, right here. Like a cucumber. What? You know, cucumber rolls, sushi. Yeah. Uh, no. Ah, that's quite a stretch. Hey, you tried, Eva. Alright, what's happening here? Hmm, there's a leaking sprinkler over there. Hey now, what happened here? <gasps> I forgot this child was named Potato! <laughs> to get the, the, the giggles out. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, sorry. Back to it. She... She kicked my teddy into the water. Yeah, well, it's a dumb bear. Just like your lame hair. Who looks like that? But I'm awesome, my bun buns are pretty! Yeah, well she also named you. <laughs> uh... Don't worry, we'll get your bear back. Actually, oh, let me take care of this. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm telling ya, I got this one! Hmm... Well, we <laughs> well, if Neil says he's got it, I want to put some faith in him. I don't remember how this plays out, so let's pick Mr. Dr. Neil Watts. Let's go, let's do this. Hey. What? Huh. Is that also hers? No, that's mine, Dukvis. It's the new Rebel Doll X3000. <laughs> They're cool because they got attitude and don't care. Unlike wimpy teddy bears, they. Ah! Neil! Neil, what was that? Neil, what the jalapeno did you do? What? What do you mean, what? You just took some kid's doll and kicked it into the water! You could get sued for. Yay! <laughs> You're my hero! <laughs> no probs, kid. In your face! <laughs> Potato got some moves, though, like... <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so messed up. Justice is cold and damp, Eva. Kinda like a tuna. What? That's, that's incredibly random. Hey, uh, do you want me to get it back? Oh, leave her be. We got more important stuff to do. Yeah, you could have said that before you kicked your doll into the water, you dumbass. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've missed these two. I say that even though it hasn't even been a week since we <laughs> played the Christmas episodes, but still. These guys are funny. Wait, oh, I totally missed the entrance. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Hello. Let us in. Hello. Hey there, uh, this is Dr. Rosalind and Dr. Watts from Sigmund. You're actually here. Yeah, I hope we're on time. Uh, hello? Um, are you letting us in? There we go! 
I'll wait outside the door for you. What was that? What was what? Did you not feel the blast of ice through the monitor? Well, if she's the patient's spouse, then she's got a dying spouse. It's not like we're here to lay our picnic. <sighs> Alright, maybe it's just me. Oh, is this a fresh desk here? Hello! Hello, Dave! Here to fill someone dying wish, huh? How'd you know? <laughs> this is the second time I've seen a visit from your company this week. Ouch. Who is it this time? Uh, Colin Reeds. Know of him? The retired pilot? Yeah, he lives on the top floor. Go on and give him the happy ending he deserves. Probably. <laughs> Thanks, Dave! Oh, hey, there's a train here. Why do people go through all the trouble of growing trees indoors? Oh, for the same reason they grow cubed watermelons. I don't know, you can get dialogue out of that. <laughs> Wait, can I sit on the couch? Is that a thing I can do? Eh, whatever. <laughs> This is a spacious elevator. Bigger than the one at NASA. <laughs> Spouses. Am I right? Huh? Always make the job so cumbersome. Depends on the person. <laughs> Dr. Rosalyn, is it? And Dr. Watts! <clears throat> uh, yes, we're here for Colin. Of course. Thank you both for coming. Right this way. Alright, let's go! <laughs> Act 1. Tell me. What do you want to change? Huh, this is a quaint place you got here. Colin's in the other room. Come with me. Right down the business. I like that. Do you actually? Yeah, because right now, I just really need to put this box down. Alright, let's go put the box down! Oh, excuse me. You must be here for my father. That we are indeed, sir! You're the patient's son? Yeah. I came as soon as I heard. But we can talk later. Why don't you get set up first? That box looks heavy. See? He gets it! Where's the medical doctor? He's here. He just went to the washroom. Is that table over there enough to get set up? Yeah, that'll do. Are you guys ready to get settled? Ooh, we can look around some more? Not yet. My colleague could use some more workout carrying the equipment around. She's always taking care of me. <laughs> Where are you two going? Uh, just stretching my legs! <clears throat> and breaking my back. Nice. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we are ready, let's go. Yeah, just give us give us a moment.
Is the power here sufficient? Why does everyone keep asking that? It'll work fine, sheesh. <laughs> but first, uh, brace yourself for a power outage of cinematic proportions. Oh, it was fine this time. Huh. I guess you got a more stale power grid than their headquarters. That's equally comforting as it is worrisome. You're in good hands. We do this all the time. Too much of the time, if you ask me. So you two are for real? What do you mean? You can really fulfill his wish. We'll certainly try our best, ma'am. But we always succeed, because... It would only be in his head, though. Not like he'd be able to tell the difference. Anyhow, fess up. What is it that he wants? They all know. But he just doesn't. He just he's le leaving us uh, to to figure it out for ourselves. Because just telling us would be way too easy. He wouldn't tell us. He said it doesn't affect us, and we have nothing to worry about. Well, that sounds legit. Look, that's... That, that's okay. We'll figure out from him soon enough. Isn't it also in the paperwork? Yeah, but pff, who reads that stuff? Pssh. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But seriously, where did the file go? It wasn't in the box? Nope. Yes, I might have left it in the car. Alright, I guess we got time while the machine's booting up anyway. Uh, let's see Rosalind. Well, someone's gotta go get it. And that someone could be you. But you're the one who forgot it. Exactly. Do you want me to go back there and forget it again? Logic. I've updated the system. It's practically configured itself now. Cool, that'll save some time. Already down to business, huh? Hey, it's the same dude! Hey, I recognize you! <laughs> yes, it's been a while. Although, weren't Dr. Winters and Dr. Lin assigned to this patient instead? Yeah, but they had a full roster at the time, so we took over. Save their arses. Uh, ironically, turns out they got nothing to do today. Hmm. I guess you never know the timing with the nature of your job. Anyhow, don't mind me, I'm just going to check on the patient. Yay! Way to reuse assets! Is there anything I can help with? I'm just gonna go get something from the car, but you could show Dr. Watts around in a bit. Okay, understood. Wait, can I go to the bathroom before I leave the house? Oh, come on before you head out. I've got something for you. Another monitor? Here, this should help. Yeah! Remote patient monitor! Let's go! Colin's heart rate monitor is now activated. Press escape or right click to open menu. Excellent. Now, him having a heart attack would probably give me one too. <laughs> awesome! Ah, here we are! We have no notes, we have one item, and we have one character. Awesome. Okay. There we go. Oh, we're in the kitchen now. Sweet! Can I go upstairs? I should just go and fetch the papers quick. Neil could check this place out when he's ready. Proceed anyway! Well, just a few seconds wouldn't hurt. Insufficient use of bookshelf detected. Someone taped it shut. I guess the owner prefers to keep it that way. Ooh, 
I can leave it alone or unseal and open it. Ooh, oh, what do I want to do? Oh, let's leave it alone for now. I feel guilty. <laughs> hmm, if they want to keep it sealed. Neil can open it and mess up later if he wants. <laughs> Alright, let's get those files. Oh! Press Q or mouse click to switch between characters. Oh, funky! Look at that! Well, it entered automated configuration mode. It does that now? Yep, my handiwork with the sole purpose of setting myself free to play hooky. But instead, I gotta go gather background info on the patient. Well, I'll go keep an eye on the patient. <laughs> That's how you get lazy eye. Keep both eyes on him, please. <laughs> ha ha. Very funny, Neil. Anything I could help with, Doc? Uh, about Colin. Uh, seeing as we're going into your father's head and all, uh, some background info would be helpful. Well, uh, he's a retired airline pilot and quite the people person. Worked hard to support the family from the ground up and always made time for us. Although, more recently... But recently what? Well, nothing unexpected at this stage of life, I suppose. Look, I'd rather not write out tombstone text before they're due. Why don't I show you around before your colleague comes back? Maybe that help. Sweet, spares me the asking. Receive note, retired pilot. Asher has joined the party! Whee! A model of a small fixed wing aircraft. That's a neat piece. Yeah, that's my dad's. I guess it reminds him of back when he trained flying those. Cool. Actually, hold on, I'm just gonna blow my nose real quick. BRB! Alright, back. Oh, is it this right? Wait, can I Hello? Hello? Oh, bang, you're from you're from Sig Corp. Am I really dead? Uh, no. Don't lie to me! I just signed up for your services last week! They said you come for me when it's time. I already told you, we're not here for you. No! I I'm not prepared! I can't die yet! Oh, I know. You're not really here! I'm just seeing things! I just drank too much! Tra la 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 la! <laughs> Uh, oh, what was that? <laughs> You're still here! No. This is the fair! I've worked so hard my whole life, and I have to die before I've ever even been to Detroit! <laughs> this man has some anger issues. <laughs> Beep this whole beep, beep, and it beep you and your beep. And <laughs> Can I knock again? You know what? I just realized. There's a medical doctor with you, right? Perhaps, perhaps they could still save me. Maybe they just put in more effort. I've got some money. Tell them I'll pay. Tell them I'll pay anything. 
Go! Go to the real world and tell them to save me, please! It's not too late! How much longer can I do this? You again. No. No need to speak. I know what you're going to say. If there were ways to save me, they would have done it already. There is no hope for me. What good are fake memories when I have no future? What good is anything, really? Just leave me, Doc. I'm already dead. You know what? I thought it through. Everybody dies someday. For me, today is as good as day as any. Did this guy just go through like the five stages of grief? <laughs> did he literally just go through the five stages of grief? He literally did! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Stop! This is so funny. And with you here, you can make my dreams come true. So today's actually my lucky day. So go ahead, fulfill my wish. Bring Disco back and make me its king. We already told you. You're not dying. You're not our patient. And we're not here for you. Bye. <laughs> I. I'm gonna make a note to assign someone else to this guy. Can I knock anymore? Nope. He will not respond anymore. That was a trip! What just happened? Wow, that was weird. Thank you for letting me know about that. I will never forget that for as long as I live. Hello, potato. Hey, got your bear back. Yep! A nice lady in a brown dress slipped into the pond and got it for me. A lady in a brown dress, eh? Huh. Interesting. Swooped? Yeah, she didn't even touch the water! Right. Uh, please tell your parents to watch your sugar intake. Wait, can I still talk to you? Ma said if I ever get bored, I can just put potate. Ha! I'm potating! Yay! What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Done already? He didn't die on you, did he? Uh, no, I uh, just uh, forgot something. Gosh, sure hope not. Not very reassuring, Dave. Let's see how our old boy Neil's doing. What's this? Your parents' wedding photo, huh? Yeah, that's them. I remember being embarrassed about that picture as a kid, but it's kind of sweet that they kept it so well. Aw, cute! <laughs> I was about to say potato. <laughs> potato, no! <laughs> a pot of homegrown hibiscus. Huh. Aren't these tropical? I wouldn't know any better. My mother takes care of them. We've had these around the house for as long as I can remember. I guess it's some kind of family tradition. Receive note, hibiscus. Is there anything in the kitchen? Anything at all? Any snackage for myself? I'm sorry, what? Ooh, Eva's gonna love this! I love what? Hello? Code 32, Eva. Code 32! Rectify it! No, I don't wanna. Dang, damn it. I'll be right there. It's called a toilet paper dispenser for a reason! How hard 
card was that? And you. Shame on you for abusing my OCD. <gasps> eh, she's gonna use the exercise. <gasps> what? That was so strange. <laughs> Oh, and he just appeared out of nowhere. Okay, that's that's cool. Not at all weird or freaky. Yeah. A dusty cello with quite a few scratches across the board. This is my father's old, ce old cello. That's what's the old cello. That's, that's, that's not what it's called. He played it a lot back in the days. Seems like it hasn't been touched in a while. Yeah, I guess it's hard on the wrist. He usually just plays the scales, though. It's not exactly music to be enjoyed. Save note. Aged cello. An aged digital piano. He plays this, too? Uh, no. This is my mother's. She used to lull me to sleep playing it back in the days. We all have our lullabies. Mine's Beethoven's Fifth. Wait, does he just follow you from like the other side of like the other side of the bathroom once you're like out to follow you? <laughs> That's so funny. Ooh, we go upstairs here. Let's go! An apartment with two floors. Reminds me of a double decker bus. Uh, most of this floor is for maintenance. We just got a little storage room cut out. Uh, sorry about the mess. Seems like they've been doing a bit of cleanup. Well, looks like they missed one. I think I recognize that book. It's been around for quite a while. My dad kept it taped up. I guess he didn't want to throw it away. Yep, it's taped up all right. He doesn't want anyone reading it, eh? Well, under normal circumstances, I'd say to leave it alone for privacy's sake. Privacy's sake. Blah. But he did sign up to become your client, so I don't know. Hmm. Let's open it for the sake of science and uh, the client. Holy crap! What? What is it? Nothing. Huh? Literally nothing. It's just a bunch of blank, wrinkled papers. That is the same book! The one that he he kept making all the, the paper airplanes out of. It's all starting to connect! Mm. Seems like they were just glued back onto the spine, too. That's... Odd. It's been around for ages, though. Maybe whatever was on there faded? I suppose. But either way, I can't do much with this as it is. Well, let's try looking out somewhere else. Received note. Green book. Oh, actually, there's something else that might help you prepare. What? Here's the family photo album. It goes way back. Thanks. <laughs> Never too early to feel like a grandma. I'll go check on my father then. My colleague will be back soon, so I should go get the machine ready too. But I'll flip through this for a bit first. in these games are always just so heartfelt. 
Oh, I guess it's uh, back to being Eva. Hello, Miss Bonnie. Who's dying, dear? Uh, pardon me, ma'am. <laughs> that coat and tag, you're from Sigmund. <laughs> if you're if you're here, then someone's time is up. Colin Reeds. Do you know him? I see. He and his wife used to stroll with my husband and me every day. Please do your best for him, dear. You sound rather accepting of his fate. After years of seeing everyone around you go, it's hard not to be. But then, you of all people should know that well. Oh, that hits a bit too hard. Anything down here? Nope. Okay. All right, let's look in the car. file isn't in the car either. <sighs> that doofus must have left it in the office. Oh, it's Roxy! Eva! Hey, Roxy, still at the office? Yep, <laughs> just waiting on the elevator. Not that you'd understand with it opening insulin for you every time. What? That's a myth. I wait for elevators, too. Yeah? When was the last time it didn't open instantly? Uh... See? You're either freakishly lucky or... Okay, okay, F for pumpkin's sake. Look, Neil forgot the patient's file. Could you help us out? Okie dokie, pocky loki. Just give me a moment. Mission accomplished. Neil, the file wasn't in the car. <laughs> I forgot the office, didn't I? It's fine. I called Roxanne. She's gonna find it and send over a scan. Oh. Well, uh, my office is locked, but she should check the printer in the lobby. Yep, she's on it. I'm heading back soon. Did you find it, Rox? Yep, it was just sitting on Neil's table. Cool beans, just scanning it. Wait, Neil's table? You're inside Neil's office? <laughs> yep, you asked me to get the vials, right? Yeah, but Neil said his, he has door locked. Oh, <laughs> girl's got her ways. Elaborate. <laughs> Not like that, silly. I just hacked his electronic log like a slice of cheese. Oh. Okay. Well, uh, just get out of there and send me a scan, would you? <laughs> yep, yep, on it! She's like, wait a minute, what's back here? Secrets? You guys got everything else you need? Yep, Neil's setting up the machine right now. How's the weather out there? Huh? Is it nice out for a drive? It's... not bad. Neato. I think I'll just come over and get you the violin in person. Um, why? Just scan it and send it over. Save time for us both. Well, we've got no patience today and it's boring here anyway. Anyhow, don't worry. I'll get there before you guys are done. See you both then! Okay, Roxy, have a safe drive. What an oddball that Roxanne. Is everything ready? You betcha! 
How about the file? Has Roxanne the scans? No, she said she's coming over to bring it in person. She what? Why? No clue. She said she was bored, but something felt odd. Then again, you know Roxanne. She's always a little cucumbered up in the head. Whoa, uh, language, Eva. Anyhow, I guess we could still start in the meantime. Your helmet's on the recliner. Oh, oh excuse me. Uh, good luck. I hope you can accomplish whatever my father set you out to do. What are you waiting for? Might as well start at this point. Yes, ma'am. We're commencing in just a moment. Sheesh. Cohen's condition is looking stable for the moment, but I would hurry. You never know exactly how long we have. And I know it, Doc. Commence memory traversal! Wait. Uh, before you begin, could you tell me what you'll be doing in there? Uh, we're going through his memories to grant him his last wish, duh. I thought you already knew. Yes, I, I do know that, but... How? What will you be actually doing? Well... Let's elaborate. We actually don't do much. It's the machine that does most of the work. Says the technician. Who knows best? The machine calculates permu permutation permutations. <laughs> Let me try that again. The machine calculates permutations of possibilities and creates a new tangent of life. In the form of memories, of course. It's an illusion, but to him it would be indistinguishable memories of a lifetime. However, the permutation with the machine calculates would still have to be logically coherent. So it needs a starting point and a change in a key variable. And that's where we come in. We tunnel through his memories from the most recent to as far back as we need. Drawing a line from now to then. We'd then be able to help Colin transfer his current motivations all the way to his past. So, in a simulated life rerun, he'll make all the kick-off's decisions and fulfill his own wish. Just by his own volition. Is that enough? I'd have thought that the fulfilling wishes would take more than just effort and a second chance. I mean, can't you two just make whatever needs to happen... happen? We can continue elaborating! Let's do it! Perhaps, but one problem. He's not brain dead. There are a few things that uphold the illusion of reality, and logical half stances aren't one of them. And since the world still must be self-coherent, we can't do more than simply influence him. Besides, we don't get paid enough to generate mem memories manually, it's not a cave painting. There's little need for interference anyhow. Willpower is usually more than enough. Not everyone can reach their goals in real life. Time changes them. Motivations come and go, they always start strong, then plateau, and then fade. But in a simulation, based on the mental state of a single moment stretched through a lifetime, let's just say that it's some powerful voodoo mon. Anyhow, no amount of volition's gonna help a dead man, shall we proceed? Yes, thank you for the explanation. I don't know what's going to happen in there, but good luck. Lex for lotteries. We're professionals. Ooh, sharp words. See you on the other side. Let's go. Patient is stable and ready. Initializing memory traversal sequence in three, two, one. Blast off! <laughs> Alright. Alright, this should be Colin's last successful memory. Yeah, and check out the reigning heavy sleeper champ over here. <laughs> Mood. 
Uh, leave that memory of her alone. She's not our client. By the way, I wanted to ask earlier. What's with the helm you put on your- put on our patient? Hmm? The equipment. It looked different. Yeah, it did! It was green! It glowed green instead of blue! I, I think it glowed blue last time. I can't remember. <laughs> oh! I just removed the casing during maintenance, that's all. Then why didn't you put it back? Hey, that reminds me! Did you know I had a new feature? New feature? Behold! Never mind, forget I asked! Wait. It's the character customization! I forgot about this! Oh! <laughs> Alright, let's customize our characters! So we have we have hair, face, and socks. Although, uh it's not like we can really uh tell. Alright, let's start with hair. Uh <laughs> see. We got the mid part, timeless. The side part, 1920s. Cool afro, 1960s. And that's it. Ah, uh, let's go for the afro. Heck yeah. Let's see. Face smooth yet manly. Hipster stash. <laughs> Amish paradise. Rich old baron. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's go like this. And let's see. We have. Plain black socks, even blacker socks, gold trimming, dead sock puppets, tomato pattern, one red, one gone, mithril, and dinosaurs. Okay, we gotta go with dinosaurs. Obviously. Obviously. Finalize. Oh, uh, yeah. Ta da! Just. Why? Well, I figure if we're gonna spend so much time working here, we might as well travel in style. We? Oops, did I say we? Sorry, I meant... Oh wait, that's exactly what I meant. Dagger it! Neil, you son of a... Alright, let's see. Her hair, we got long flowing locks, pragmatic bun sticks, Saucy bangs. Oh, I like the bun sticks. Let's see. Classic Eva. Grand mustache. Wizard's beard. Regal face carpet. Let's go with the, let's go with the grand mustache. And then socks, plain white, bright teal, giraffe print, fuzzy Hanu Hanukkah? I I don't know. <laughs> Cucumber pattern. More hold and sock. Rainbow stripes. Rare silk. Hmm. Let's go with the cucumber pattern. Alright! Yay! What the beef, Neil? Is it? <laughs> hey, don't blame me. It's the system that chose it for you. Well, the system is a dumb apple? Whoa, whoa, don't insult the system, that's not cool! Whatever, I'm changing back. Oh, come on, it was all worth to implement! Besides, you owe me for what happened at the tofu party last month. Humor me for a bit. Ugh, you did take a solid hit for me at the tofu party. <sighs> fine, I'll keep with this look until we find Colin. Sweet! Nice socks, by the way. Yeah, I'm okay with the socks. Well, that was a trip and a half. <laughs> oh man, never, truly never a dull moment with these jokers, I swear. <sighs> okay. The current memory's position in time can be viewed by moving the mouse towards the top of the screen. I guess not while those dialogue. <laughs> oh, uh, let's turn off world interaction before we wake her up. After all that, I'm surprised we didn't already. That's true. All right, here we are at the uh, near the end of his life. And then there's the tiny little boy that we saw. 
in a bird story. All right. Let's see. Let's I, oh, there he is. Colin? What the? Uh, this isn't a stable copy. Let's find one we can talk to. Receive note. Unstable copy. Interesting. I don't believe that was a, a thing in the first game. It's the first copy we saw of Johnny and we were instantly able to talk to. And go upstairs? Oh, huh, the bookshelf has more books in it. Still full here. Seems like he must have cleared it very recently. The one lone book, huh? Yeah. Odd fellow. And he's not in the kitchen, is he? Nope. Did he go in the bathroom? Nope. Locked. What the? Uh... Pretty sure this hall didn't look like this. Dude's so old he can't even remember his own home. But isn't the machine supposed to autocorrect these kinds of spatial inconsistencies? Well... Uh, oh hey, look! <laughs> Target acquired. Let's go. Aw, I thought you forgot. Nope. Hmm. <clears throat> Alright. Thanks. Turning on the entity interaction. Colin? My name is Dr. Eva Roslin. I'm a memory traversal specialist at Sigmund Corp. And my colleague here is Dr. Hatton. Dr. Man Hatton. Bruh. You are Dr. Neil Watts. Oh, uh, how did you know? Your name tag. <laughs> Bro, so shook you forgot he had a name tag. Classic Neil! This isn't what it looks to be, is it? Yes, Colin, your procedure has started. Good. It's not just me, then. Something felt off about this place. As if I'm both here and far away at once. Either this isn't where I think I am, or my head's going downhill faster than I thought. Uh, more likely both, actually. <laughs> Fair enough. My wife and son, uh, how are they handling it? They're... They're, right? Yeah, but they aren't prancing around, that's for sure. Although, given the circumstances, I guess I'd be worried if they were. Listen, there's not a lot of time, and it's best if we get started. You are the most recent slice of Colin that we can load up. And the only relative reliable version that we can interact with for the info. So, I hope you can assist us in completing the mission. Of course, why would I not? Good. I'll keep your state safe so we won't need to have this conversation again. Psst, we're gonna save on a state. Yes, your highness. Snap of the fingers! Now, in order to help you relive your final- your- blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Sorry, let me try that again. <laughs> I was doing so well. Uh, now in order to help you relive your, your life here, to fulfill your last wish, we are first going to backtrack through your memories to connect your timeline. And then we'll be able to transfer your desire all the way to your younger self. 
and run the algorithm for you to live your life here all over again to fulfill your wish. Anyhow, Colin, we need your help. To jump between memories, we need mementos. They're items of importance to you that connect one memory to another. Do you have one here that we could jump with? Whoa, slow down. We don't even know what his wish is. What is it that you want anyway, Colin? Actually, I think I can answer both of your questions with this. A paper airplane? It's a Sigma contract. Oh. The text is rather blurry, but... It is a memento. Sweet! Let's move! This memento is very shattered by itself since it's so recent. But the next one won't be so easy. Alright! I'll need to charge it up first. Preparing the memento! Oh yes, it's a different puzzle this time. What exactly do I do here? Memories go the farthest when linked together. Oh! So I have to... I think I see? Interesting. Okay. I didn't have to get all of them, I guess. But it would have been cool if I could. Ah, well. Activate. Thanks. We might come back for your help again. Hello? There was something there. Wait a minute. This place... It's the Sigmund guest house. Ah, oh, where they whine and dine the geezers into signing up for the service. Sure been a while since I visited. It looks a bit different from when I was last here too. Let's check it out. I love like the extra um, uh, instrument um, arrangement with the uh, the background music because you can tell that it's like it's the same um, uh, melody from To the Moon, but there's a bit of an extra spin on it. I like that. What are you doing outside in the cold, Mr. Reeds? Your appointment is about ready. Please, right this way. It's gonna phase through, don't mind me. Welcome to the Sigmund Corp guest house. Please have a seat in our living room. Ooh, what's that? Are we good to go? Why don't you sit back and enjoy some tea first? You must have come a long way to get here. I need to get back home soon. I'd just like to inquire about your service. Very well. Someone will be here to get you shortly. This photo is taken from the stage's perspective. Exhilarating, huh? Not many people get to experience what it's like to be famous. We sure get a lot of requests for that, so if it floats your boat, consider it done. If we have to do another one of these, I'm gonna take a nap. It's not so bad. 
At least we get it done fast and go home early. If you'd like to choose fame and riches for your last wish, consider it done. You see, our service is really quite simple. You tell us your wish and we make it happen. Fame, wealth, unreachable goals, and secret desires. You name it. Where are your genie, Colin? What is your wish? So, if I understand this correctly, you're saying I can't wish for more wishes. <laughs> You know, I've done and seen a lot in my lifetime. I've been to where I once thought I'd never be, seen what I once thought I'd never see. In the blink of an eye, suddenly there's no more time. And if I find myself here just like everyone here, and I find myself here just like everyone else, I walk through these doors and I realize that there's still this empty feeling inside me. I don't mean to be ungrateful to the life I've had, but I just want to feel like I've done enough in this world before I go, you know? I want to say I lived a happy life and I want to feel like I have few regrets. But somehow, after all that, I still can't. That's why we're here, Colin. Just give us the word and we'll make it right. Tell us your regrets. What is it that you want us to fix? Regrets... I don't know what to tell you for regrets, but I can tell you what I want. I want you to make me live the fulfilling life I wanted. But I want you to do it without changing anything I've been through. You... Don't want us to change anything? Colin, changing things is what we do. We change things and we make them better. That's why you come to us, so we can make it better, we can solve your problems. Everything you wanted but couldn't have in this life, we can give you the chance to get it. But if you want to get something, you need to give up something. So I ask again, what do you want as your last wish? <sighs> Very well. I want you to give me a fulfilling life while changing as little as possible. And if you have to change something, please just keep the memories of the life of my family intact. So, you want to waive spe specificity from the contract. With something like that, I hope you know there are no guarantees of results. I'm aware. It's settled then. I'll put our best people on it. Thank you, that's all I ask. Received note, Colin's wish. Try not to change anything? And we have free reign over his fate? What kind of a last wish is that? I don't even know where to start. Eh, we've seen worse. The important thing here is that the boss said we'll put our best people on it. We're their best people, Eva! Booyah! Actually, about that... <laughs> eh, never mind. Okay, I'm good. Let's go get the memento. Oh, having lived. Yeah, that does sound familiar. Okay. It was a very good track. Think we should go back to the last memory and ask Colin about what he said here? I can't really expect reliable answers from that, but we might have to eventually have to try. We'll cross the bridge when we get to it, though. Let's just continue on for now. Best stocks in the house. Booyah! You picked the right people for the job! Oh. Uh, just one more thing. Don't tell my family. I don't want them to think I'm not content with how things are. Yeah. 
Interesting. Hmm. I'm missing a memento, though. There's so much to the world, isn't there? Much more than one could explore in a single lifetime. Say, wouldn't it be nice to visit where you've always wanted to go? I've already been there. Once upon a time. Ah, here we go. You know, I've been rather impressed. What for? Well, back in the days you kept on yelling dumb juvenali juvenalities while shooting the barriers. But recently, I haven't heard any Hadouken or Kamehameha or whatnot. It's been rather pleasant and professional. Oh. Mm-hmm. Let's prepare the memento, whatever this is. I can't tell. Sometimes only the current memento rings a bell. Oh, it's a hat! Okay. I was like, what am I looking at? I thought it was like a piece of bread or something. <laughs> I'd better head out now, but before I forget... Here, take this hat, Pops. With that headache you've been getting, you should be more careful of the wind. I've been telling him that for ages. He never listens. Alright, alright. I'll wear it if it stops this multi-directional nagging. <laughs> hey, it's been a while since your thing with Pam didn't work out. Listen, I was talking to my old colleague the other day. He's got a daughter named Jenny, you see? She's single and... Oh, look, thanks, but I think I just really need to focus on my career right now. So, you guys gonna go back to feeding the ducks or something? Oh, we wouldn't have to resort to that if you visit us more often, you little bastard. <laughs> but that hat is 100% cotton! Well, alright. You're off the hook. Drive safe, dear. We'll stay here and keep being overlords of the ducks. <laughs> Bye, Ma. I'm proud of you. Not for the duck thing, but like... You know what I mean. <laughs> Don't stay out too long at this time of year. Aw, sweet. That kid needs to make us a grandchild. What's wrong with Jenny anyways? Probably nothing, but you know how it is. When you were young, didn't your parents try to push people onto you too? Sure did. It was awkward and forced. Mm-hmm. Sucked all the chemistry out of it for me as well. What are you doing? I'm texting him Jenny's info to set him up. Don't do that! He's driving! Do it after he gets home. Good call. <laughs> All of these parents! <laughs> Make sure to include some pictures, too. The good ones, with lighting coming from the side. No words. Receive note, regret, no grandkids. Send the pics with no duck face. Yep. Got a nice fall aesthetic right now. Perfect for this time of year. Wait, are those ducks up there? Are those ducks? <gasps> Duckies! Hello! 
Are you serious? One for each duck? I'm not complaining. There was a whole flock. Received note. Ducks. Ducks. Ducks are great, man. My granddaughter turned five this year. Can you believe it? She's growing so big so fast. I'm thinking of making my knitting modular. <laughs> Time really flies, huh? No kidding. I didn't realize how old I was getting until I broke my other hip. Word of advice? Don't go breaking your hip. <laughs> yeah, I've been lucky on that front so far. Seriously, I shouldn't even be out right now. Uh, why are you out right now? It's like just a bag of loose bones round around there, I tell you. Uh, Clark, y y you should go see a, a doctor. That's that's not normal. <laughs> just clanging and clunging, clunging and clanging. How are you even standing up? <laughs> that's a very good question. we go inside? Nope. Oh. There's... What's her name? Sophia? What's this? Their call card. I printed out another. Segment Corp. What made you change your mind? I still feel the same way about it. But some days, I wake up and see you on the balcony looking out like that. You don't say it, but I know there's something that still aches you. Tell me, are you happy? Of course I am. I have you and Asher. Then why do you want to go through with their surfaces? Just because I'm happy doesn't mean I don't have regrets. Not that it'd be related to you two, anyhow. Call them. But when you go through the procedure and live that new life, just hold on to something from here. It's not like that, Fia. I won't forget about you. Aww. Hey. Hmm? I think I forgot to bring duck food. Oh, me too. Aww. Well, that explains her attitude. I told you there was something up with her. You know, she could always sign up with Sigcorp for a life where Colin never signed up for Sigcorp. Har har. So that's the call card? Yeah, there it is. Alright, let's go. Prepare the memento! I was gonna say, it's kind of interesting that um, Imposter Factory didn't have a puzzle like this. But, in that case... It wasn't really, like, having to, like, unlock someone's memories. It was the fact that the memories were already unlocked and we were just going through them. So, that made sense once I realized that. Okay, let's see. Yeah, Neil really knows how to keep bringing in the business. <laughs> what the? <gasps> it's her. 
I think. Maybe. Uh. <laughs> Took you so long. I. I thought I saw someone weird back there. Huh. Did you say that to their face and hurt their feelings? Uh. Weird as in they were watching from the woods. Watching. from the woods? Yeah, and when I looked, it almost seemed like they. Ugh, never mind, it's stupid. Okay, Eva, be honest now. Have you been reading too much Dusklight? I already said never mind. They were static anyway, so it's no one important. Hmm. Well, you'll be happy to hear that while you were staring at nothing, I scattered this memory out. Wait, what? I was only behind you by a few seconds. <laughs> nice try, Slowpoke. Anyhow, here's what's going on here. In the kitchen, they had a fight about what we suspect from the last memory. Bam. After that, they make up and play music together over there. Cue. Aww. Etc, etc. Oh, and then Colin goes to suck on the balcony. The end. Dude, spoilers. Aren't always a bad thing when we're on the job. But here. I even picked up a memory link for you to make up for it. And if you want to see everything yourself so much, then just don't use my unlocks. I'm not going for you. Ooh, pretty. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Ooh, this looks familiar. Oh, the book. Okay, right, we need two more links. We have all, we all have regrets. Be it writing a wrong or a dream long past. Or perhaps that one special someone? If you've got to do it all over again, who would you be? Where would you go? At Sigmund Corp, we give you that second chance to make things right. Because with our help, it's never too late. Wow, they have commercials out. Well, I'm glad they made better slogans since then. Understand. Why would you even consider? Why would you toss aside everything we have for something make believe? I'm not tossing anything aside. I mean, don't you have regrets too? Yes, but I actually have respect for what I've been through here. What we've been through here. Tell me. What do you want to change? I want... I mean... <sighs> there are so many little things that could have just been better. Better. And if you call Sigmund, what would you ask for? I... I don't know what to tell you, Fia. And the least you could do is to make up something nice, isn't it?
Remember, Colin is our client. Everything else is fluff. I know. Alright, let's get back to that book. Traverse through time! Once again! Alright. Prepare the memento! Sometimes the paths to memories are obstructed. Ooh. Interesting. Hmm. There we go. Let's go. Oh. Oh. <gasps> hey, we're back in kid years. That's right. Wait, how in the world? Childhood? Did we just skip his whole life? I don't know how this could have happened. But uh, since we're here already, try tra transferring his signal from the last memory. Roger. Oh, it's, it's it's being blocked. Nope, not working. We might have leaked all the way, but the middle of the path is still unclear. And what now? Are we stuck here? Eh, beats me. We're already here, though. Might as well look around. Hmm. Received note. Anomaly. Actually, let's look at some of the notes we've got. Anomaly. Something is into is tra <laughs> Something is interfering with the memory traversal. Ducks, they quack things up. Ah! Regret no grandkids. Colin wanted grandkids. Colin's wish. To die happy while changing as little as possible. Unstable copy. There's an odd instance of Colin on the most recent memory's balcony. Green book. It's filled with blank pages. Hibiscus. Oops. The family kept a pot of hibiscus around the house. Retired pilot. Colin used to work for the airlines as a commercial pilot. And an aged cello. Colin plays the cello. Apparently not well, though. Alright, cool. Can we jump? Can we jump? Whee! Nice. Wait, let me talk to you. The book was what catapulted us all the way here, right? How very magical and equally annoying. Hey. Hmm? This book. It's not getting wet from the rain. Huh. I guess it glitches in more ways than one. Interesting. Ah yes, this room is like we were just here. <laughs> Requires five to proceed. Oh, I guess we gotta keep looking around. Oh, finally, we see his parents. You hang in there, son. <laughs> Food's in the fridge as always. Keep this place in check, alright? I will! I'm sorry we have to leave again, Colin. But at least we get to see you today before we go. I understand. You need to work hard to keep us afloat. <laughs> That's right. Aww! Sweet! So cute! It's a difficult time, but we'll get through it. And one day, things are gonna be all better. We'll make sure of that. <laughs> I 
I like how they poke fun at the fact that in uh, a bird story you never see the parents at all. So it's like, yeah, I finally get to see you before you leave the house. <laughs> she keep eating more, you little scamp. <laughs> Those breads were going quick for a while. I thought you had a growth spurt. <clears throat> yeah, totally, for sure. Yeah, eating all that, all that bread. Mm-hmm. That was that was all me, all me. Yep. <laughs> Take care, son. You're winning, son? I am, Dad! I mean, I just lost my bird friend, but yeah! Things are great! <laughs> Hi, Dad! And now, back to Rudog, the red-nosed corgi. Hey, look, you're on TV! Say something! That's not how I remember the show goes at all. Receive note, Rudog. Interesting. <laughs> Is he gonna jump on the bed? Yeah! <laughs> Come on, Rudog, you can jump too! <laughs> Cute. I guess Mr. Mr. Stove, long time no see. Fancy meeting you again. Let me raid the fridge. We cannot raid the fridge for a muffin, unfortunately. Nope, they locked the door on us. Awesome. Oh, hello. Oh, he fell again. <laughs> you good, dude? Is he dead? If he's dead, how could we be here decades later? Maybe it's- Maybe it's his twin! Dude, too soon. Oh, well, actually, I guess it's been a while. A long while. But still, not cool. Gee, I wonder what he's referencing to. Hmm. Eh. <sighs> oh, there he goes, making the paper airplane. What the? Isn't this already the furthest memory back? Yeah. Huh. Oh, that was Neil seeking first. Oops! My bad! Wait. I just realized something. Hmm? A few memories ago at the Sigmund signing house. Ugh, here we go. And the boss said he put his best people on this case. This was like ages ago, Neil. But he didn't actually mean us, did he? Because Colin was originally assigned to Roxanne and freaking Rob! Yeah, let it go, man! That is utter bullcrap! Okay, calm down. No, I am rage. What? Ah! <laughs> sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Whatever. I. I. Yeah. <laughs> Don't interrupt me. Ha! Token! <laughs> wow, you really moved up to getting sued by two IPs simultaneously. 
Uh, sorry, Eva. I just can't have you go on thinking I've gotten tame. <laughs> Where was that in the character customization, huh? You could say you brought that upon yourself. Uh, no, Neil. I really wouldn't say that. Wow. That happened. <laughs> okay, so it looks like... I gotta get this paper airplane into motion. There we go. Excellent! Alright, let's see where this goes. Ooh, Ooh excuse me. Oh, and we're back in his old age. And we're back to old age. Whoa. Right, this is the one that, this is the, it goes in a, in a loop, I think. Instead of just going straight back, it goes from elderly to childhood to like older to younger until like reaches like the middle, I believe. Yeah, this was, excuse me, this was a really cool, uh, uh, kind of non-linear plot they got going on. Atlanta Center, Cactus 135, cruising flight level 360. Cactus 135, Atlanta Center, roger. All, all timer setting 3317, have a good flight. I can't speak words or numbers, apparently. All timer 3015, thank you, Cactus 135. Well, we've got a nice tailwind going for us. Sir, now that we're in cruise, I just wanted to say, it's been an honor to be here as your first officer on your final flight. This may be my first time as a first officer, but I won't let you down. <laughs> it's all good. Rather poetic, really, passing the baton and all. But you should know. As my co-pilot, there's only two things I ever want to hear from you. Two things, sir? Yep, there. Yes, Captain, and landing gear down. <laughs> You're funny, sir. What did I just say? Yes, Captain. <laughs> of course, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> just reminded me of back when I did my first flight as a first officer, that's all. Man, my Captain, that was a crazy mess. Yes, Captain. Hm, you know I just said I was kidding, right? Yes, Captain. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna let my wife and son come in for a bit, if you don't mind. It's my last flight after all, they're not gonna get this view again. Yes, Captain. <laughs> Irene, could you bring my family in? Thank you. I can't talk to yes, Captain. Flight regulations were still so chill back in the day, huh? Eh, times change. <laughs> so what'd you two say? One, one last round? Is it alright with management? Already approved, special occasion and all. You heard him, Ma. Go, go, go! Ah, I'm stuck. There we go. <laughs> so, you gonna miss this view? From the big birds? Sure. But it's not like I'm giving up the sky. <laughs> Neil, what are you up to? <laughs> Sitting in the pilot's seat. Oh, don't you go renting those small planes. I don't trust you flying in them. Speaking of, I wish they gave you a bigger plane for the last flight of your career. Like one of those monster double-deckers. 
I asked for this particular one myself. I had my first flight with the airline in this. It was a different time back then. A time with lots of peanuts. I miss them so much. You know, Dad. All these years of flying and you never ch told me why you chose to be a pilot in the first place. Oh, I haven't, huh? Psst, I'll tell your mother, but it was to impress a girl! Yeah, did it work? <laughs> sure, I guess. Oh, please. <laughs> With the way your father acted, I doubt he dated anyone at all when we met. Shots fired, Dad. Hey, now, Fia, don't go spreading false rumors in front of our son. I'll have you know that I was quite the stud back in my day. Captain, just a reminder that we're on record for the black box. Oh, thank you for the reminder. Let the record show that my biceps are out of this world. Uh, no, no, they really aren't. <laughs> oh, but they are. When I pulled that yoke off the t on takeoff on that yoke on takeoff earlier, I practically lifted the entire plane off the ground. Isn't that right, Peyton? Yes, Captain. Yeah. Well, let me tell you the story about how the one time involved a jar of pickles. Okay, we need to make a sterile cockpit for landing. Let's get you two back to your seats. <laughs> Off you go now, shoo shoo. <laughs> oh, Colin. Uh, sir, we're not landing for another couple of hours. I know. <laughs> Trying to save face, dude. Hey. What are you doing just getting all comfy in there? So, uh, are you coming with or what? Nah, I like this view. I thought you were, like, acrophobic. Only when I'm not inside a plane. How about you go wrap this with this with this memory and I'll join you shortly after. Are you serious? It's on a loop. Yeah, but the picture from the seat's angle is just absolutely divine. In fact, I pity- Oh, come on! Not this joke again! In fact, I pity you or anyone who can't see the way the horizon meets the- Don't give me that lettuce. <laughs> that cabbage, whatever that was, that greenery. Oh, we've already landed. I guess. Thank you for the lovely flight, sir. <laughs> Cheers, hope you had a nice day. Hello! Oh, <laughs> I thought that was the little kid. <laughs> Hello, little one. Hope you enjoyed the- The landing sucked! Uh, yeah. Sorry, it was a little rough. Not one of my better landings. The wind was- Oh. No regret. Bad landing. Anything else back here? I guess not. Wow, this is the fastest I've ever seen an airplane clear out. No one trying to struggle to get their luggage out. Anything else? Can I leave? Oh, I can! Oh, fellow cellist, huh? Here, let me get that for you. Thank you, sir! Yay! Are you good at the cello? <laughs> Not really. Uh, my wife is the real musician of the family. Beautiful instrument, though. I loved playing it as a kid. Received note. Cello. Oh, there it is. Memento detected. Excellent. Let's prepare the memento. Radio. Let's see. Oh, that wasn't bad. <laughs> Best told through a downward spiral. Ouch. <laughs> Sup? Dude, I was just about to... I was about to leave you behind, you bozo. <laughs> Uh, 
how did we skip the childhood memories again? And this time, the memento isn't even that book. Is there something wrong with the machine, Neil? Huh? It's not the machine. At least, I don't think it is. Well, I guess we know that we can go back now. Let's just hope this doesn't interfere with the finishing job. We're finishing this job. Relax, we'll manage. Is there literally anything else left, Mrs. Miller? Nope. This is your instrument. Get used to it. Dang. This Miller's cold. I love playing cello as a kid in my arse. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Wow, you belong at a grade school. Your childish jabs aside, Eva, and on an unrelated note. This place kind of makes me feel like I'm on the set of some indie French film. Uh, what? What about this possibly makes you feel that way? I don't know. Just the feeling. What? Is this a joke that I'm not getting? If you wanted something else, you should have lined up earlier. Oof. Ah oh, yes, here is this hallway. Hey, don't push! I called dibs on the violin! It's the life to carry! I'm gonna get the flute, it fits in my backpack. Oh, I played flute when I was in elementary school. I wasn't great at it, but at least I didn't have to buy a reed. That sucked. <laughs> also wasn't a bra- It was a good in-between in between a brass instrument and a woodwind because it was the only woodwind that didn't require a reed, but it wasn't as hard to play as a brass instrument because I tried playing like a, a trumpet once. Oh, blew out my cheeks. Hurt so much. Ugh, could never do it. I did not want to have to upkeep reeds trying to get those every like two months or so. No, thank you. <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> What's he doing? Counting dirt, I guess. Oh, this is when he got kicked out of class. Part three to proceed. Oh, we need some more. Did you see that? Is it carrying that thing, or is it carrying him? Looks like it's just a floating case from behind. Ah, yes. I love the, uh, the locker trees. <laughs> wow, this is awkward to watch. Eva, why do we get all these losers as our clients? Uh, maybe because you're here, moron. Aw, well that's a nice compliment under Goss's law for magnetism. Ouch. Where'd he go? Do we have to go back? Ooh, some dude's got a yo-yo. Nice. I can pick? Hmm. Is there something in here that I missed?
Hmm, there must be something I missed outside then. I think he's gonna take over at any moment. Huh. I have a feeling these aren't exactly replicas from a natural setting. It's as if his memory took quite the creative liberty in mixing things up. There we go. I had to look at the locker trees for realsies. Not just spectate them from a distance. Isn't the machine built with public domain da data stabilizers to prevent this? Uh, yeah, but maybe broken? Maybe? You're the tech specialist! Yeah, I'll have a look afterward. There we go. Colin? Oh, yes, Miss Parker. Colin! Uh, the answer is C! What? I'll ask you again, what is the radius of this circle? Uh... Where's your head at, Colin? Go stand out in the hall! Yeah, that's the best way to make him learn, is to kick him out of class. Hmm. That could be our ticket out of here. Alright, I think I could reach it. We just... Nah, I got this. Let me find a way. What? Land? No. What are you planning? Okay, so it's something I have to use in here. saying that. Wait. Alright, now watch this. Is that a freaking wand? Wait, you didn't disable the- Oh god, Neil, no! <gasps> Mobilair- Mobilairbus, uh, Teacher's Deskus! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! And... Down. Did you kids just flip and see that? Dude. Reset! Okay, first of all, disable reactive interactivity before you pull that stuff! And second of all, it's not even how the spell goes! Uh, yeah it is. Did you see the thing fly? They sure did, ya village idiot. They're so funny. Funny, funny people. I love how we just, we had to go through that whole scene just to get to this memento. <laughs> hmm. What? Nothing. I guess I was expecting you to start saying dumb things again. Eva, do you know how draining it is, it is to unleash a Kamehameha and a, and a Hadoken simultaneously? I mean, I know I'm a pro, but even I need my beauty sleep. Okay. Oh, good evening. I'm glad that you could join. Been revisiting this game. I haven't played it since... Since it released. In, was that 2018, I think? 2017, 2018? Something like that. So it's been a few years since I revisited. So. I played a bird story earlier. That was that was good. 
I never played that before. It made me cry a little bit at the end, so. <laughs> I thought it'd be fitting since uh, it, uh, it ties in with this game, so. Yeah. All right. Prepare the memento. Go. Excellent. Oh, they're moving into the apartment. Um, are we back at the old age period again? Well... And here it is, the perfect retirement apartment. We sure are. Okay... I think I got it figured out. Hmm? I mean, we haven't just been jumping back and forth randomly, right? There's a pattern to it. Oh, this is where it explains the loop. Okay. With all of our other patients, we began from the most recent point and gradually traced backwards. And in this case, it did start like that. For the first few memories in his oldest time, everything went just as normal. But then, we somehow got slingshotted all the way to the earliest accessible memory. So we cleared that and once again leaped back to the older times where we left off. Then to the earliest one again, moving forward. And once more to the older time, moving backward. These jumps aren't in a random order and nor do they form just any pattern. It's the pattern of a decaying orbit. It's almost as if we're being pulled in, spiraling towards a gravitational center. A gravitational center, huh? Inappropriate context for physics aside, what do you think is causing this? Some oh-so-deep inventive melodramatic angst that traumatized our fine gentlemen. I don't know. Maybe it's a memory of that sort, but... <sighs> Maybe it's something else. Uh, something else? What could be here than the memories? Like I said, I don't know. It's just that we've seen a lot of patients, and there's never been a memory that's done this. Alright, I guess at least this one isn't routine, then. Hmm. We'll see. One bedroom with balcony, and there's also an attic for storage. How often do you find attics in an apartment, huh? Not to mention the lake view. I thought the lake is on the other side of the building, though. Yeah, but this unit's on the edge. You can see it if you hold out a mirror from the balcony. Bro. <laughs> I would not call that a, a, a lake view uh, <laughs> asset or anything. <laughs> Here, I have a brochure! Well, I guess it ended up working. They took the place. And this is the kitchen! If you pay attention to the walls, you'll notice that it hasn't even had one fire accident. Uh, of course, if it had, the whole place would have surely burned down, being an apartment at all. This guy's not very great at his job, is he? <laughs> oh, goodness. Fred! Fred. Uh, I mean, uh, of, of course it won't happen because y'all seem like careful folks, right? I guess what I'm saying is, um... Fire safety is very important. Thanks, Fred! Really, really couldn't have figured that out without you. An attic in the apartment, isn't it amazing? I think this floor is otherwise reserved for he heating and utility units from the building. 
If something in the building explodes, I guess it probably hit pretty close. Wow! Way to sell us on this apartment, dude! Okay, I'm trying to feel less spooked about the memory leaping thing, but this isn't helping. How'd this guy get a job? <laughs> He's not doing a very good job at trying to sell this. <laughs> the brochure for the apartment. You said you're a musician, right? This room is perfect for performances. There's very little room for an audience, though, so you would probably be playing alone. Which is kind of sad. But I digress. <laughs> Fred, I think you need to talk less. <laughs> and as you can see, this is why they call it the this little Lakeview Residence. I mean, you can't literally see because the, the lake's behind us on the other side, but if you extend your head off the balcony to the left, you might be able to see a little bit of it. Uh, don't, though, you fall off. Okay, we on we go! Did he turn the brochure into a paper airplane? Huh, wasn't this just a brochure a moment ago? Eh, I guess he just folded it. What's the issue? Well, if I'm guessing right... Yep. Being memento, it's kinda odd that it came to be without the seeing. Huh. In any case, at least it's convenient. I didn't see another way out of this place. So, what do you think? Well, it, it is nice and quiet. I like it. Me too, but... I would have liked it better if you didn't... <laughs> That's what I'm saying, girl! I would have liked it better if you just didn't talk, Red. Yeah, that didn't really help it at all. If you were my cousin's friend's brother, we would have walked out by now. Ah, I see. Uh, more like ran out... <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not good at sales. Uh, so, um, uh, sorry to be blunt, but are you going to take it? Because there's a deposit fee, you see, which technically I could elope with, but I promise. Uh, uh, stop talking. We'll take it. <laughs> mm-hmm. I saved your butt, Fred. I hope you're grateful to them. Okay, I'm I'm moving the red paper airplane, right? <laughs> awesome. There's so many paper airplanes, my goodness. Here we are, back in childhood days. Ah, <sighs> sling back again, huh? Yep, your theory still checks out. Okay, let's place bets. What? Bets on what's causing this anomaly. Bets on what's causing this anomaly, of course. Your guess is versus mine. Oh, get a life. Dibs on first guess then! Bet you $10 to bet a girl. Suddenly you're romantic, aren't you? Nah, it's just the fact that with these things it's always about some girl. Not everything is about some girl, Neil. Besides, I can think we've seen enough from his own memories to say that he's happily married and. Hey! What 
you doing up there? Yes, you. I see you standing up there like every day. Like that every day. <laughs> what are you always looking at? There you are. So... Got a name? Uh, you do have a name, right? Colin. What? I can't hear you! I said my name's Colin! Huh? You're... <laughs> Faye, no! <laughs> huh? You're Colin what? What? No! Uh, 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 let me just... Uh, hold on, I'll be right back! As a means of communication and transportation, he folds yet another paper airplane. Hey! I'm gonna throw this paper plane over! I wrote stuff on it, so just catch it, okay? I was gonna say just speak louder, but... Okay! Okay, here goes! Ugh! Uh, hold on! Yeah, it's lucky that comes right back to him. Dumb kid has no respect for the laws of physics. He's like nine, dude. Hey, it's alright! You need to concentrate, okay? Just keep your eyes on me and throw as hard as you can. If you try hard enough, I'm sure you can do it. I believe in you. Okay, okay. <sighs> I can do this. Here goes. Ugh. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen your determined face. <laughs> That's not funny. You can't throw it against the wind, silly. No matter how hard you try. <laughs> what did you think was going to happen? <laughs> I'm going inside. Okay, wait, wait, don't go! So, Colin, right? I thought you didn't hear. Yeah, well, I think I've actually seen you on the way to school. What does that have to do with... You go to the one just across the woods from here, right? Yeah. Oh, well, I go to the one just across the street from yours. The private school? Yep, yep. Lucky. Why? Well, because it's all exclusive and costs money and stuff. Oh, hmm, I guess. People are always snobby there, though. They are? No, I'm just trying to make you feel better. <laughs> hey, let's walk to school together next time. Why? Because I like you, silly. You're just the right amount of dumb. <laughs> You're stupid, I like that in a man. <laughs> That's basically what that is, I love it. What's that supposed to mean? Besides, have you heard about the bear attacks in the woods? No, I've only seen badgers. He has only seen badgers. What did you hear? Oh, no, I didn't hear anything either. But that's why I'm suspicious. It's a little too quiet. 
anyway, we probably go the same route, right? We'd be gonna stick together. I guess so. What was that? Huh? She just ran back in when they came out. Eh, and it's not that uncommon for kids to be scared of their parents. Back when I was young, I knew a kid who had one scary mother. Saw her spanking him with a spatula once. Never ate her brownies after that. What? What kind of friend did you have back then, Neil? What the heck? Oh, thank you! <laughs> I thought I'd make her a little bit of a rascal. He's a bit rambunctious. You good, dude? <laughs> what a weirdo kid. A, ru a Rudog plush toy sits in the bookcase. Doesn't seem like he's playing with it much. Poor Rudog. Oh. Ooh, another clock. Don't you dare do anything. I'm getting this one. Let me at least take it off the wall for you. No! Just... Don't! It's not even that high. We don't need to take it down. Okay, I need two more mementos, though. Like, uh... Today's classical guitar concert is sponsored by Meow Blend. Meow. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> Why can we have a jingle this catchy? Uh, one can only dream. Coming up on coming up next on classic replays, The Godfather. Hold on, I can't wanna say watch this. Blurry note from Colin's mom. Is that a coat? Oh no, that's the case. I was like, what am I looking at? <laughs> it's the cello case. Why is he practicing in the bathroom? Because the bathroom reverb makes the sound awesome, of course. You sure seem knowledgeable. Back when I played the triangle, I did it all the time. He was a triangle player! I love it! Isn't the cello like a huge instrument, especially for like a nine-year-old? They're making a nine-year-old play the cello? What the heck? <laughs> what kind of school is he going to? Wow, not even the Fable Bathroom Reverb could save that crap. Some blank help to remember, some help to forget. Oh, weird. So, the green one makes them appear, and then the red one makes them disappear. Weird. Oh, yo, that's true! Yeah, during like, the flashbacks and stuff. Right! Man, there's so many little details. My goodness. 
Alright, let's go! Another clock. Back to ye old age? Indeed. People are looking for you, you know? Nervous for your last performance here? I'm not nervous. It's just... I've played in this theater for so many years. It feels strange to just have this be the last. Well, you never know. We can always visit. This place isn't going anywhere. I saw what you were going to play, by the way. Not my most virtuistic piece, huh? <laughs> well, I kind of like that one. But I thought you didn't. I guess it's grown on me. I knew it! Uh, just a little. <laughs> hey, we still got some time before the concert starts, right? Go get your cello and come play with me for a bit. That'll help calm my nerves. I thought you weren't nervous. Buddy, just comfort your wife. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, look at this! And the big old stage! I love this. What are you doing there slacking off there, Ash? Oh, come on. I've already set up a whole row of chairs. I even named it, Usher's Row. Everyone who sits there will pay a toll. Oh, I'll let that take care of your allowances then. Not ah, cool, Dad. Oh, hey, where's Mom? Not sure, I'm going to go look for her. That's why you need to get your butt down here and help. Blah, alright. <laughs> Time is a place. Oh, time is a place, eh? Hey, have you guys seen Sophia? Uh, check the practice halls. I saw her going there. Oh, uh, thanks. We'll do. Y'all should visit, by the way. We're gonna miss having her play here. Aye, we will. And they never did. You don't know that. Who's got the best nose? You do! Oh yes, you certainly do. What are you looking at? <laughs> he literally only remembers that dude's nose! Stop! That's so funny. Who's Mr. Nose Dude? Can I look at him again? No. Why is this guy admiring his nose, though? Is that literally the only thing significant about him? It's just his nose. <laughs> So, what did you want to play? Doesn't matter much, really. Why don't you just play your scales and I'll do that, that accompaniment for it? <laughs> Are we trying to calm you down or calm you down or me? I happen to find the simplest things mindless and relaxing. Fair enough. Receive note, the scale theme. Man, he's just playing scales while she's doing all the work. Didn't she used to play the triangle in band? Yes, and the triangle is one of the most nuanced and misunderstood instruments there is. Okay. I sure try hard to play some fancy scales. Well, there's a memento, but I'm missing one. Miss something back there. Hold on. Hmm. 
Lad grows young so fast. <laughs> Man, this place is perfect to play chair pack, man. <laughs> lots and lots of chairs. What the? Well, that kind of spooked me. It's flickering into another memory. Well, that's, that's very spooky. Uh, or, or not. Any idea what that was about? How should I know? Well, you are the technician. And to be fair, this isn't the only weird thing that's happened in this trip. Are you sure you didn't forget a wire or miss a calibration? How dare you? My calibrations are as spotless as Bambi's butt after he lost his spots. Okay, okay, I'm just saying you should keep an eye open. Hmm. A little sus. So, let's go. Mm. Ah, there we go. What? This memory is of his last his wife's last concert. Blah, blah. This is this memory is of his last Let me try that again. This memory is of his wife's last concert, yet we didn't see any of her concert her itself. There was a flicker of it back there, I guess. Still, sub self-absorption ahoy? Perhaps, but it depends. What we see here is largely influenced by his actual regrets, after all. Try to remember that when we see here is more to do with relevance than importance to him. Eh, something still feels odd to me. But, alright, see you on the other side. Ah, uh, here we are, back in the modern vibes. Come on, it's just up ahead! Yeah, yeah, I know where it is. Why do we have to come so far to just play some music anyway? Have you seen the view up there? It's unreal! Besides, no one be around to tell me I suck at cello. You suck at cello. Eh, you get a pass. <laughs> Race you to the top! They kind of remind me of like a young like Eva and Neil. They've got like that banter sassiness going on. I like that. The girl from the balcony, huh? I don't know if his wife would like this. It's not much to fuss over. They were just kids. And besides, this was long before Colin even met Sophia. Still, the memories we see here tend to be relevant to his real-time regrets, right? It's not our job to judge. Let's just see how it goes. Okay, just... <sighs> Give me a moment. 
And you wanted to raise the top, huh? It's the cello! You try carrying this thing uphill! Not- or not to mention you're, like, weightless. Hey, it was your idea! New idea. Break time. It's just a cello. It's all hollow inside. I mean, the case is kind of a killer, honestly. Actually, I think the case would even weigh more than the cello. Maybe. I don't know. Don't hold me to that. I just have a, I have a guitar with a guitar case, and that thing is pretty heavy on its own, so... I don't know, maybe I'm just because... <laughs> but you need some real exercise. Uh, hey, what are you... Hop off! We're gonna roll down the hill and die! Wow, so grim. I thought you just said I'm weightless. At least be a little consistent. Why are the best places always so hard to get to? What's the point if it just tires me out to get there? Might as well just close my eyes and pretend I'm there. You're such a downer, you know that? Look at me, I'm calling. I roll around and complain all day. You can stay here if you want, but I'm going places. Here we are at the, the pretty view. Ooh, hibiscus! Where'd those come from? Wind's from our younger days. Yeah, that is a really good track. I do like that. I think I actually have the soundtrack. I just haven't downloaded it onto anything. I didn't realize until like a couple days ago when I was like uh, re-downloading or reinstalling uh, Finding Paradise. I was like, oh, I have the soundtrack. Oops. <laughs> should probably listen to that sometime soon. So, what can you play? Just the scales, sorta. Still? But it's been months! Hey, not everyone's got those fancy private tutors like you. I'm just figuring it out as I go. Hmm, why don't you play a bit and show me? Okay, but it's just the scales, you know. It could be worse. It could always be worse. Don't you practice? Yeah, but it's so boring to play the scales over and over. I wish I could just jump directly to playing melodies. Mood, I feel that. Here, why don't you play it again? Alright, here goes. See? With the rain accompaniment, anything can give you a melody. Aw, oh, she's teaching him a change in perspective. Sweet. Isn't that what Colin and his wife were playing in the last memory? Yeah. Can we judge now? Interesting. An empty cello case and a weathered green book. He sure likes taking that book everywhere. I'm actually surprised it's not getting blown away by the wind. Wow, those are some giant flowers. I think it's a... hibiscus? Oh, memento detected. Odd place for a wild one to grow, though. For a kid, she's pretty good at the guitar. You know what's interesting about this memory, though? These early memories of his are way more vibrant than the more recent ones. Are you suggesting Alzheimer's? Possibility. Always, but even so, perhaps just early stage. Not all of his early memories are clearer than the recent ones, only some in particular. Alright, because I'm not sure how I feel about rewatching The Notebook. He sure brought that song a long way into the future. 
Well, to be fair, it's just the scale. <laughs> Ouch. Burn! What I'm more curious about is how is wife in the same accompaniment to it? Receive note, the scale theme. So we gotta get rid of some of these. So I can get them through. There we go. Excellent. <laughs> I knew some girl would show up and turn it into a cheese fest. <laughs> a cheese fest are the best! I love cheese. Well, not too much cheese, but a good amount of cheese is always good. Oh, and we back in them older ages. Huh. Have you ever seen wild hibiscus around this part of the world? Don't know. I'm not the wannabe plantologist. It's called botanist. Oh, hey, look over there. A virgin! Oh, there's only two, uh, links here. Careful up there, Ash. Those look a bit loose. It's all good, Dad. I got this. You should come up here and play, too. Uh, listen. At least come down and let me fix it first. Never! <laughs> Are you okay, son? Ash? Yay, I'm okay! <laughs> I'm invincible! to jump to conclusions. Can we go up there? Nope. Well, looks like we can't. Oh. Tires. What's wrong with him? The joys of being a parent, probably. Some memory lanes root the way we remember. Interesting. Ooh! Funky. Okay. Now we're in the, uh, early teens, I guess. Badger! Badger! <laughs> oh, <look. laughs> oh, hey, it's Faye! Been waiting for me, huh? What took you so long? Sheesh, I made it, didn't I? I got a life, you know. Whoa, where'd you learn to do that? It's called talent. 
Come on, weren't you gonna show me your school? Yeah, the classroom should be clear by now. Are you gonna stay for our band practice as well? Yeah, yeah, lead the way! Aw, don't they remind you of us when we were young? Not one bit. I don't know, Eva. I can see the similarities. <laughs> huh. This school looks familiar. Small world. Uh, but then again, I guess many of the geezers here grew up in the same area. Way to reuse assets! I love it! This is where we have our art class! Me! Are any of these drawings yours? Uh, nope, mine got thrown out. <laughs> these are the good ones. Are they really? <laughs> if these are the good ones, I'm a little hesitant to see what, what you came up with. <laughs> okay, maybe it wasn't that bad! Is the cafeteria locked? Nah, I just don't like going in there. There's plenty of other nicer and quiet places to eat. Interesting. He was never someone to go in the cafeteria. The one in class, everybody slacks off at and you actually work? Eh, I like these classes. If you really try hard, you can create entire worlds in them. How cool is that? Well, that does sound like your thing. And I sit her over there. Right over there. Blah, 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 blah. Although I'm probably gonna move soon. How come? Well, I sat with this odd girl because we're both really quiet, but recent... Well, she's been hanging out with someone a lot. So... So they want to sit They want to sit together, of course. They're bumping you off? Let me beat them up for you. Oh, it's nothing like that. <laughs> they just look happy together, so I should get them to sit at the same table, right? Emotions! So many emotions. Into the gymnasium! Wait a minute. I don't know if you guys could, like, see that during, like, the transition, like... Like... Yeah, like... You can see, like, there's some, like... There's some kind of red light over here. And like, I don't really know if that means anything. But as we've seen in, uh, if, if, if you've played Imposter Factory, there is some kind of significance with some, with, like, lighting in certain ways. At least in one certain way. I don't know if it applies anywhere else. But, you know, something to kind of look out for. At least I think it is. Oh, there they are. <laughs> she fell asleep. <laughs> I mean, those scales sound pretty good for being scales. The harmonies are fantastic. Oh my gosh, another clock. So many clock mementos, even more than the first game. No, Faye was so important that he recalls so much about her even now. What happened to her? We haven't seen any traces later on. I have a few guesses. 
Dang, nabbit. Oh. An airline pilot hat. Oh, right. I remember what happens here. And we're also walking very fast. Ooh, what's over here? A scattered bunch of blurred paperwork. Patient Sophia J. Reeves, Nurse Patricia L. Who are you? A wrong room, sorry! <laughs> Blur of marker written texts. There we go. <sighs> Sorry, Fia, the storm grounded my plane black all day and I just. You made it. Honey, you're vibrating the baby. <laughs> that was not how you rock a baby, my dude. <laughs> I'm just gonna be right back. <laughs> Panic. I'm a dad now! Okay, panic over. I'm good. I'm a dad now. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, is he gonna make a paper airplane for that baby? Ah! You're happy though, right? Of course I am. Uh, it's just that... I don't know, I was in such a rush to get back and, and suddenly seeing him here... I guess I just need a moment for it to sink in. Hey, it's... it's okay. I feel it too, you know? But, well, maybe it's as they say. Maybe we're never meant to feel ready. How could I when I feel no different from the kid I was yesterday? But you are! <laughs> You were different even from the man you were when I first met you. I don't know what changed, but... You're no longer aloof, you know? When you're here, you're actually... here. <laughs> I couldn't even make it here when he was born. Well, hey, you didn't know he was so eager to meet us early. <laughs> what matters is you're here now, and we're gonna be okay. He's like, now this is how you rock a baby, pleb. <laughs> oh, so cute! There we go. Now you got the hang of it. You're not vibrating the baby. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna be okay. Receive note. Regret. Absence. I'm sorry, was that- is that plane flashing blue? Actually, hold on. Let's look at some of the notes that we got recently. Okay, regret bad landing. The last landing of Colin's career didn't quite hit the mark. Cello. 
Colin loved playing the cello as a kid. <laughs> Colin hated playing the cello as a kid. Faye, the girl across the balcony. The scale theme. Okay, we get that. Oh, the new one. A thing Faye played that accompanied Colin's scales. Regret absence. Colin missed the birth of Asher. Okay, let's see. Hmm. There we go. For some reason this puzzle is easier than the first one. Why? I have no idea. This seems more complicated. How could I when I feel no different from the kid I was yesterday? But you are different. Even from the man you were when I first met you. Huh? Uh... Wow. Far out. Where is he? Did we get Drifter from the spawn point? Don't worry. I got this. Alright, Mr. Neil... Dr. Neil Watts, what, what are you planning this time? What do you mean I got this? What, what do you got? What are you gonna do? He's on the other side, right? We could just... Shh. Look, Neil, all we need to do is get over that wall. I don't know what you're planning, but let's try and keep it simple. Don't worry, it doesn't get any simpler than this! Is that a hook shot? Is that... It is a hook shot! Let's go! Hook shot. Come on, give me a break. I've always wanted to try this. All right, I guess it's straightforward enough. Yeah! I can feel it, Eva. What? This hook shot. Is the hook shot that will pierce the heavens? Um. I'm beginning to remember why I thought this game was so wild. Oh my gosh! <laughs> only, only to the moon franchise. Only to the moon. This is a sentence that really should not exist, but, you know, um, I, I, yeah, <laughs> there is not much more to say than that, truly, I, I <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, 
should unshrink Neptune and put it back into orbit right now. Those were words that that went together, but don't make any any sense in any way, shape, or form. Not in the slightest. Relax. It was copy paste, not cut paste. Not to mention impartial pro procedurally generated. Now let me just turn on its localized gravity. Wait, what? <laughs> what is wrong with you? What? You said it was alright to use my hook shot. Now let's just turn the gravity off and... Bye Neptune, thanks for the lift! Sentient... Neptune? At least it wasn't Uranus. What was that? Nothing. Let's get going. <laughs> Classic Uranus joke. Huh. Talk about staying up past bedtime. Whoa, look at the skyline! I love it. Don't even bother. It's not gonna fly over, you know. We're too far apart. So, are you ever gonna finish telling me that story? Hmm? Huh? The one with the injured bird you found when you were a kid! <gasps> we know that story! We know that story indeed. <laughs> There's not much to it, you know how it goes. The bird has a broken wing and I took care of it for a while. The vet took it in afterwards, but... But what? But I tried to... I tried to seal the bird back. You thought you'd take better care of it? Of course not, I knew I shouldn't have. Then why? Because it was my only friend, I guess. I just... didn't want to let it go. <laughs> wow, what a lope of sappy Sarah Jean. Char Charchines? I can't say that word. Reading is hard. <laughs> Speaking is even harder. I might give you a handkerchief for a dog or a cat, but a bird? I knew I shouldn't have said anything. Everyone I told that story to either thought that or got bored to sleep. Yeah, I can't help you there. I cried! I cried at the end of that story, okay? You got me on your side. It was beautiful. Birdie. <laughs> but everyone goes into things with their own context, you know? Maybe it's only fair that they didn't care much for it. Maybe the bird was something different to you than it was to them. Or maybe you just suck at, t at telling that story. I just wanted them to relate. Yeah, how did that work out for you? Not every story is meant to be told, you know. Some of them are meant to be kept. So, how did it end? I... I think the bird flew off. I think I lost it, but it came back to say goodbye one day. You think? I don't know, I keep on mixing up reality with daydreams back then. I guess I was living in my head a little too much. worked! Huh, I'm getting better at this. I used to daydream about taking off on a big paper plane too, you know? We'd fly all over the world seeing all kinds of sights. And I could just fly across from the bel from balcony to balcony. Well, that's dumb. <laughs> you can't fly on paper planes, silly. No, duh. I mean, if you really wanted to fly so bad... Why don't you go and become a pilot? <laughs> Wait, you're serious? Yeah, why not? What do you mean, why not? One doesn't simply just go and become a pilot. Why doesn't one? Because... How? Well, planes take off from airports, right? It doesn't hurt to find one and ask. 
That's... Uh, if only it could be that simple. If you just let it be, maybe it could. I should go, Gollin. I know. Hey. I'm gonna look for that airport tomorrow. You're like, whatever. <laughs> yeah, you will. <laughs> You're smart. Received note. Flying. Well, the friendly girl next door would be one way to get inspired to fly, I guess. Wow, seems like he ran into a poster sale. Or puberty. Hey, there's Pac-Man! And probably some other things that I don't get references to! Yay! Poster of a horror movie. Huh. Didn't think he had it in him. With a balcony room like that, is pretty parents sure confident in this sleepwalklessness? Sleepwalklessness. Poster of a tropical island surrounded by a lagoon and barrier reef. Hmm. That looks familiar. It's the same place as the painting hanging above his head in his elderly days. Alright, I also saw this exact picture in the attic earlier. For a teenager, he had some old-fashioned taste in posters. Oh, we got everything. I mean, if you really want to fly so bad, Faye said, why don't you go and become a pilot? So this green book from the shelf is just a journal? Seems legit. Okay, let's see. So bad. Oh, there he is. Is a f what was it? The first something or other. Well, so much for the cliffhanger of whether he'll become a pilot, eh? More like cliffhanger. Oakland Center Cactus 135 Cruising Flight Level 390 Cactus 135 Oakland Center All time All time All time <laughs> uh, Why does that word always trip me up? <laughs> all time meter setting 3007 See ya All timer 3007 Cactus 335 out I don't know if I'm saying any of these terms right But this is my This is my playthrough I mess up if I say I mess up <laughs> See, Greenhorn, you gotta play by the rules and use them proper radio words. Every. Single. Time. Even when you're not on the radio. At home. With your wife. It's like I have a mustache. But the chief instructor said, Do I look like the chief instructor? Yeah, look at his mustache! That is a fine stash he's got, dang. He seems to remember people's facial, ex like, very, like, uh, notable facial features. Like that one nose dude. And now, it's this mustache. Mustache you. <laughs> Is our face also endowed with this award-winning mustache? There we go, Captain Ernst. Don't think I'll go easy on you just because this is your first flight with the company. As my first officer. First officer, that's what it's called. As my first officer, there's only two things I ever want to hear from you. There, yes, Captain, and landing gear down. That's funny, sir. Do I look funny to you? Uh, no, you don't, sir. 
What did I just say? But the only two things I expect to hear from you. Yes, Captain. So I do look funny to you. Uh, landing gear down? Son of a gun, they send me all the brainless pretty, pretty ones. <laughs> this can't be serious. Well, you know how memories get exaggerated sometimes. I hope. <laughs> Received note, Captain Ernst. <laughs> With his incredibly luscious moustache. Well, how was the first day? Is Captain Ernst always like that? I really did a thing but sit there. <laughs> yeah, you should probably get used to that for a while. Forget about him, though. You got any plans for the night? The other flight attendants and I were thinking of taking you out for some drinks to celebrate. Oh, uh, tell them thanks, but I better head straight back home. My wife's just about halfway into her trimester. I'm away for long enough as it is. Wow, double congrats. You got a name picked out yet? Yeah, we're thinking Asher. Anything back here? Nope. Why are you just dilling on the plane? Get out! Guess we gotta go back? I do. There we go. Is he still keeping journals in this thing? Just some sort of a pre-flight checklist glued on there. Yes, Captain. I have one request. Do not send me a gourd. And what do they do? They send me a gourd. G g great story, Captain. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's the hat. I see. These are multi directional. There we go. Excuse me. Are you an airline pilot? It's a small municipal airport kid. You won't find any airlines here. I'm a charter pilot. You looking to charter a plane? I'm looking to learn to fly. Uh, can you teach me? <laughs> looking for an early start, huh? Sounds like you want to talk to the flight school instead. Make a turn up ahead and follow the hall. They'll deal with you at the dispatch. See? Told you it's worth a try. This way? Mary. Ugh, give me my fix, you stupid thing. Why do I never learn? Oh yeah! The cat plane! What in the world is that? Just leaving something for the class. <laughs> uh, maybe the head should have been smaller for aerodynamics sake. Who cares? It's got extra propulsion coming out of its butt. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, I should probably get down here first. I bet he knows something about it. Hey, I don't think I've seen you around here before. Yeah, I'm just trying to find out how to become a pilot. Oh, that's simple. You get an instructor and you train. I'm actually working on my own license. Halfway done, in fact. Isn't it expensive to train? Yeah, but that's why I'm working here part-time. The pay's not much, but the discounts on the training flights help. Hm, that's not bad. 
painting of a flying single-engine plane. Hmm, so this was the painting hanging in Khan's attic in the present day. Anything of note up in here? No. Excellent. Outside. I bet this is where they dispatch them. We do offer training, flight training, and you do meet the requirements, but it's costly. Is there any other way at all? Well, that's not up to me to say, but why don't you check with the owner? He's on break right now, and I'll let him know you're coming. Uh, the, the, the owner of the entire airport? Yep, it's his family-owned airport. His office is at the other side of the hall. Did you hear that? It's family owned! What does that mean? It means that it's owned by a family doll. And it's also probably Mafia. Mafia? Uh, what? Mafia, and I'm behind you, you know. Yeah, just like in The Godfather! Let's go visit! Uh, what? Silly kids. Those idiot kids. There's no such thing as the Mafia. Ready to go, sir. I got here early, got the weight and balance calculated, and the logbooks all checked. Two words. Low clouds. <laughs> yep, you're canceled for the day. Ouch. You've gotta be kidding me. So. You're the kid they told me about. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Do I want to believe this is actually Mafia? <laughs> oh god. Look, sir, I don't want to cause any trouble. Of course you don't, son. There's word on the street that you want to become a pilot. Yes, sir. But you have no experience. No, sir. No background. No. And you have no money. I don't, sir. Yeah, you come here on the day of my own daughter's flight exam to request my hospitality to make use of my facilities without an offer. Do you disrespect me and my family's airport? I'm just telling you, got strong arms and can help out around the airport. Um, I got reasonably strong arms. Oh, are you saying you're up for work? Yes, you are. Yeah, I am. Interesting proposal. It's true, there have been a few positions opening up recently. Perhaps we could use a hand. Very well. The offer is one I won't refuse. Another amaretto sour, Ricardo, and hold the amaretto. It's just sour. Yikes. <laughs> Kid. You work for me now. And with the earnings, you shall pay for your training. One flight at a time. Quick, thank you, Mr. Back. Th thank you for your kindness, sir. See? You did it! Wait a minute. All that happened is that I applied for a job. Shh, you're practically the underboss now. So, um, assuming exaggeration of memories, is this, like, racist to Italians? I can't tell. Italian isn't a race, Neil. But he does seem to have a tendency for getting creative with his memories. Hey, maybe that's just what he gets for watching the movie when he's eight. Anyhow, let's see if the dawn is anything for us. Receive note. First job.
An amaretto sour drink without the amaretto. Oh, there we go. Prepare the memento. Some of these scenes are just so funky. It's so funny. I appreciate how silly they are. Okay, let's see. Awesome. Ooh, is that a maraschino cherry? I love maraschino cherries. So good. Basically, like, they're just candied fruit, but it's <laughs> it's great. Actually, I remember this one time I had an assignment to make, like, a black forest cake, and I got, like, a jar of maraschino cherries. And then when I used up all the cherries, I <laughs> I decided to just <laughs> to just drink the, 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 the mar maraschino cherry juice. <laughs> Which is basically just, like, grenadine. <laughs> I just drank it like it was like a juice or something. <laughs> Not one of my finest moments, but it was delicious. Woo! 10 out of 10 would do it again. Like, seriously. <laughs> I love sweet stuff like that. It's my jam. Finally, some tropical air. There you go, sir. Your amaretto sour hold the amaretto. Wow, I wonder where he got that from. <laughs> Thanks, just the way I like it. And for you, lady, your amaretto sour holds sour. Why, thank you, I didn't know you guys made this. <laughs> Are you going to be able to handle all that lemon juice? Oh, it's just the ju it's just... Oh! It's just a glass of lemon juice? I'm gonna be- I'm gonna be frank. I don't know what an amaretto sour is. I'm assuming it's an alcoholic drink, but I don't know what it entails. I didn't realize the sour was lemon juice. But it makes sense in hindsight. It's an old favorite. We're actually here. You've wanted to visit for a long time now, haven't you? It's every- is it everything you dreamed it would be? Well, when you've got expectations. But, yes, it's <laughs> still beautiful. How about you, though? Hmm? You know, uh, spending half our savings on a delayed honeymoon and all that. <laughs> hey, now that's not the time to think like that. We'll bounce back up. I've got quite a few gigs waiting for when we get back. Not to mention your new job, Mr. Airline Pilot. <laughs> Don't jinx it. It might still be a while until I start with the company. Besides, the pay's not going to be good for a while. Hey, as long as you get to wear the cool shades. I talked with Maria last week. We got the flexible hours arranged. So we're ready, huh? Yeah, as ready as we're going to be. You know, this might be the last trip like this will happen in a long time. <laughs> well, make the little bastard pay for all the vacations we miss one day. In the meantime... All the more reason to enjoy the rest of it. <laughs> Use the rest of it. Yeah. Here's. Ah! <laughs> Rip. Smooth, fella. Receive no regrets. Sloppy start. <laughs> Oops. To be fair, I didn't really know what amaretto was, so <laughs> I'm a bit of a noob when it comes to alcohol. I'm gonna, I'm gonna admit that. <laughs> well, we found the memento at least. Ooh, a small, aw, uninhabited aquarium. Well, that seems redundant. It's what's gonna excite you with all the fishies, but there, there are no fishies in there. <laughs> Come on, Colin, the water's not that cold. <laughs> Look how cute your wife is being! Join her! Those marshmallows are totally gonna get overcooked.
<laughs> Come on, Colin. The water's not that cold. Fia, you still awake? <laughs> She's been a happy sleeper ever since. You know, I feel that. Told you lemon juice is the way to go. Aww. Cute. A faded painting of Bora Bora. Oh, wait! That's one of the, the places that, that we flew over in, in a bird story. Huh. Oh, fishies! Fishies! A blank piece of paper. Looks like he's about to lay down some rhymes. Some sick rhymes. I think there's still some stuff in here we haven't checked. Oh, like what? Oh, what's that? Oh, no. <laughs> Dat hibiscus. This is more of a suitable place for that kind of flower. There we go! Yay! Backtracking! At least it's a beach. Some triggers change the memory lanes themselves. Oh. There we go. Let's activate. Oh, okay, we're painting a plane now. Interesting. Hey, your shift's just about to start at the shop. Okay, I'm almost done here. Did you even get your homework done yet? I'll do it when there's no customers. Sneaky. I like it. <laughs> Did you get yours done? <laughs> Good one. That's dangerous. She should really get down from there. There's not much to look at out here. I got everything prepared and ready, sir! I've done every weight and balance calculation, pre-flight checkup, and document check! Cool, but the wind's picking up, so your solo cross-country flight's cancelled. 
Why does this always happen to me? Man, this guy cannot catch his break! My gosh. Psst, that new kid they hired is really quiet. Yeah, but at least he gets the work done. Literally everybody, when I have, whenever I work somewhere, I've been told by managers and co-workers, like, Man, you're really quiet. Like, like you get stuff done, but you're really quiet. Like, I've been... <laughs> people have thought because I'm so quiet and don't talk. So that's just not really a thing that I do. <laughs> they think that I hate them, and I'm like, no, that's not it at all. Like, I feel so bad, but I'm just not naturally social. <laughs> Which I, I might seem a little... Odd me saying that when I'm doing this here, but it's a lot different when there's actually like people in front of me. It's it's really hard to talk, so. <laughs> Doesn't he have a scheduled flight this afternoon? Yeah, but we're playing short because someone snagged a blown tire. Unless someone gets cancelled, I don't think he's gonna get to fly. Does he even have an instructor yet? It's me. Hey, I think they're talking about you! I know, shh. Can't visit the boss. Ah, they get the cat! Ah! <laughs> and that's how equilibrium is t equilibrium is achieved is a through the four forces of light. Any questions? Uh, why does the plane have a cat's head? I don't know. It was on there when I got here, so I just rode over it. <laughs> <laughs> A blurred entry about working at an airport and Faye falling asleep on the wing of the plane. There's also some random class notes, read it. Yes! About runaways or runways, stalling engine failures. Remember my numbers? I'll actually tell you. I'm not gonna read all this. <laughs> Gotta preserve a bit of my voice. Interesting. <laughs> and your failure doesn't just make the flying plummet out of the sky. <laughs> Every single time! Here, let me get that for you. You just gotta unhook it from the inside and... Wow! That's some crazy maneuvering, kid. Well, he remembers Barry, I guess. That's interesting. I've been here for years and I could never figure that thing out. He must have, like, some kind of magical bending power. Um, I only know because I have to clean it, so... <laughs> nice. I can't read that. Okay, here's $24 and change. Oh, gosh! Why would you... Oh, not in pennies! We don't even have pennies up here anymore. Pennies do not exist in Canada. I don't know how long it's been since that happened, but it's been a while. Seeing a penny is a bit of a change of pace, but still. <laughs> don't think I want to see one under this circumstance. Wow, that's a lot of pennies. It's okay, I have all day. Yay! Hurry up and count the pennies, kid. You're holding up the line. Gee, I wonder whose fault that is. Yeah, I can't get rid of him. Okay. like that, huh? I guess everyone has their reason to start flying. Mm. And what about you? Well, just between you and me, flight instructing isn't my real passion. In fact, before I came here to teach, I was an acrobatic sky riding pilot. Wow, like, 
Making stuff appear in the sky with plane trails? Yep, I was darn good too. But then I got fired. Why? Total discrimination, I tell ya. It was all because they found out I'm an illiterate who dropped out of school! Did they care that I was the most skillful pilot in the fleet? No! But just because I don't read good, they drop me like a hot potato. Ugh, it brought me just thinking about it. Yeah, that really doesn't sound fair. Well, um, maybe if I need your service one day, I'll be able to hire you. Thanks, kid. Man, first you get my, my soda and you vow to get my life meaning again. I see that I'm gonna have to flight instruct the heck out of ya. Oh, wait, I think I remember what happens after this. I think I remember. This is funny. <gasps> well, that went well. She sure makes herself at home. Hmm, you might be in a bit of a rut. There's still a memory link missing and the readings indicated we've activated everything in the area. Eh, maybe we could simulate his memory somehow. Hopefully, let's keep our eyes open. Duh! Ghost? Did you feel that? What? I don't know, some kind of a breeze. Ghost memory! Huh. This wasn't open earlier. Did you do that? Uh, if I did, you would know. I've literally been right behind you. In fact, I don't even know why I'm just following you in a constant manner. Because game meta. Uh... Oh, I don't remember this part. What the heck is this? I... don't know. But... It, it seems like this memory- this may be our ticket out of this memory. So what? We need a way to continue and this place magically opens itself up? In the most unsettling way, no less. I'm not sure what's going on with this place either, but there's only one way to go now. Come on, we gotta jump. Oh, hey, oh no, I can't even look down. It's the only way to find out, Neil. Okay, I'm jumping in three, two. Ah! Quit pushing me off, Legends Eva! What? I didn't push you. The beep you didn't. Hey! We're on a plane! Hey, hang on! Alright! What's even going on and why is this happening? Wait, tone your hand down! I think I can see them inside! What is even going on and why is this happening? You're doing just fine! We're not gonna die! Now, do you have the runway in sight? I... I think so! Okay, fly the approach, and don't forget the cockpit check. Um, a mixture full rich, uh, primer and in unlocked. Zero Yankee to Romeo, clear to land runway, 2-1. Zero Yankee Romeo, Romeo, blah, blah. We're too high, get some flaps in there. Speed, lower the nose! Alright, I have control. Oh, thank god. Hold on, looks like we're gonna land. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Neil is dead. <laughs> hey, you all good? No, Eva. I'm not all good. 
In fact, I'm dead. See? What I say? <laughs> Game over. Get the bleep up. All right. <laughs> the game over screen! Oh, I love that. Absolutely love that. Is it normal to feel kind of dizzy? Yes. As someone who gets travel sick all the time, yes it is. At least from my perspective. I don't know about you, but you know. <laughs> don't worry, you'll get past it in time. You know what? Here, take my hat. Ah, you remind me back when I was a young lad. As in back then, I also knew someone else who was nervous like you. Hey, you look pretty cool in that. And this is nothing compared to the acrobatic skywriting flights I've done, I tell ya. One day, I'm gonna get back to that. Is that our ticket? Yes, it is. Bam! Right to the noggin! Yeah, I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna knock it out! BOOM! Another headshot, Eva! No scope! Oh yeah, give her the concussion! <laughs> You're lucky I programmed my head to be hard as a rock. You sure plan ahead. <sighs> okay, let's see. Hmm. There we go, got those out of the way. Of the way there. Uh, let's see. There we go. Excellent. Skywriting, I was like, oh yeah, I remember who this dude is. Damn it, Barry! Sophia, will you marry me? Well, we did warn him. No, regret. Misspelled proposal. There's only one. <laughs> There's only <laughs> This this memory literally only exists for the one gag. <laughs> Not to continue straight on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see. Hey, let's go. Seriously? Only one single orb for his memory of the, his proposal? Hey, at least he remembered. At least he remembered it. Gosh darn it, Barry. Well, looky looky here. That's a familiar dress. Man, how are you able to pilot an airplane but not drive a car? The priorities, thanks to you. Come on, we're gonna be late. Shh. 
he's sure getting lots of screen time compared to his wife and his proposal. There's something about her that really bothers me. Oh, don't take it so personally. It's not like Colin's your husband. That's not what... Oh, never mind. Hey, actually... What's the matter? You know, I think we're gonna pass on this one. It's your first rehearsal with them, right? You're nervous enough as it is. Hey, I'm not nervous. And even if I, uh, were... Well, you being there would help. I guess, but... I can't always hang out around, you know? Because, besides, you'll be able to concentrate better without me hanging around. Hey, you remember how you always used to tell me about your day after school? Why don't you go on ahead and you can tell me about it after rehearsal? Okay then, it's decided. Bye! You'll be fine! Wow. What a wacky gal. Receive note. Wacky gal. <laughs> I'm not here. Oh, I don't- I don't like this track. It was the track that played before Joey got hit. Like, how am I supposed to associate it with anything else? <laughs> hey, get that horn off the couch before it gets drooled on- drool on it. Oh, relax. There's already drool everywhere. True that. With instruments, there's no escape from the drool. Well, wind and brass instruments anyways. <laughs> Unless you're drooling on a guitar, then uh, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> hey, the rehearsal's about to start. Chop, chop. A couple of blank pages. Oh, but uh, we found the memento. All right. Oh, she's find the rest of the links. Is this the right place? Uh, I can't believe I'm late. Oh, there's Sophia. Was that... Sophia? I guess so. Receive note. Meeting Sophia. Okay, stop. Stop, stop everything. Something was off around bar 36. From somewhere on my right side. Dun dun dun. By someone in the cello section. Dun dun dun. Someone sitting in the second row towards the front. Colin, is it? I think you were rushing a bit. Better watch that. I will. All right, let's pick out back up from bar 35. Right into the solo. Ready? Wait, I want to stay here for a little bit. Oh, this piano is so pretty. This, the, the spotlight is like, they are the only two on the stage. The only two in the room. How romantic. Romantic. Why did I... <laughs> The way I just can't say words. I know y'all love me for it. <laughs> Preparing the memento! Okay... Look oh, great. Oh, I see. Interesting. Oh, 
Aww. Beard. Look at me getting a hang of this puzzle. I got this. Ooh, we're getting closer to the middle. All right, I'm done with mine. Me too. Let's see what you. What is that? My best effort. Going on dates already. He sure moves fast. Well, we're still skipping around. Some time has probably passed. A quick pencil sketch. That's a quick pencil sketch? Huh? It's beautiful! I love it! It's a cute little fishy. <laughs> now this is a quick pencil sketch! <laughs> Me trying to draw a fish. It's okay, it's okay, Colin, I feel ya. <laughs> You're among fellow non-artists. We understand the pain. Gee, I wonder who we learned to draw like that from. Wow, look at this aquarium! So cool. Wait, was there something else down here? Where's it going? Oh, wow, for a cephalopod, it sure is cuddly. <laughs> it's actually kind of tickles. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh no! It could tag! Ah! Why is this even in the petting zoo? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh my gosh. Well, you know. <laughs> I was about to say that reminds me of the time when I, uh, I pet a manta ray, but I, I don't think it really, it didn't end like that. Not, not in the slightest. <laughs> my arm just got really wet, though. And it smelled like fish. I didn't enjoy that. But the actual petting of the manta ray was really cool. As <laughs> I would describe it as uh, petting a cold portobello mushroom. If, if that gives you a visual indication of, uh, of what it felt like. Oh my god. What? What's up? Jellyfish! Ah! Too many jellyfish! Um, are you feeling alright, Eva? So many of them! <gasps> well, um, it, it's good to have interests other than gardening, I guess. A giant wall aquarium. Oh, look at all the jellyfish! Well, I guess I've always loved the piano, but... When I was a little kid, I had a piano teacher. Every time I played, she made me feel like the worst pianist in the world. For a while, I stopped going and I stopped playing. But I guess I was a kid with no self-esteem because it really got to me. Whenever I doubted myself, I remembered her words. One day, I had enough. And I said to myself, someday, I'm going to be a concert pianist. But isn't that letting her dictate what you do with your life? Well, I guess I had a weird way of seeing things. <laughs> to me, it doesn't matter which path I take as long as they make the most of it. And there's only so little time in this life, and we'll never be able to do all that we want. No matter what we do, there'll always be something other to th <laughs> there'll always be other things to try, other paths to take. So in the end, I think I just had to be satisfied with the ones that I took. 
but I'm just blabbering now. Enough about me. How about you? What made you want to become a pilot? I... I wanted to fly to places. That's it? A long time ago, a friend of mine went somewhere far away. I guess I just wanted to go find them again. Anything important going on up there? Not sure. I was staring at the sharks. Okay, call me when we're ready to move on. You sure aren't a fan of us. Oh. Wait, hold on, what's down here? Anything of importance? Pipes. Just pipes. Okay. How many times has the paper airplane been a memento? Well, this is complicated. Ah! There we go! That one was a little bit trickier. But the ores were purple, so I forget it. Hey, we're going to good to move on now. Go on then, I'll catch right up. Yeah, she really likes those jellyfish. They're very cute looking jellyfish though. Like very squishy. I can understand that. You sure are taking your time. Hey, no one's kicking me out. Good thing I got my hours in time, huh? You better have. It's gonna be a different world out there. You ready to go? Yeah, in a moment. You done with your jellyfish face? That's not a phase. And yes. What's going on here? Not sure yet, but the place sure looks deserted. Want to draw a plane? No, I'll be here to see it anyway. Notice of airport closure. Hmm, I guess all things come to an end. Receive note. Closed airport. These shelves sure look weird being empty, huh? This whole place does. It was always like that picture, yes? Oh, it's Boss Man! I had them saved for you. Just a little something. To remember this place by. Thanks, Boss. You done good work for us, kid. Honest, respectful work. Oh, and I almost forgot. Your favorite plane's still here for one more day before we move her. If you want to give her one last flight before then, 
It's on the family. Thanks, boss! You know what I appreciate in uh, Imposter Factory? That we can run. <laughs> There's no offense, walking around everywhere is a little bit, uh, a little bit tedious. Can I leave? Oh, I can. Oh, I know what happens. Uh, mm, oh, I s mm, Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, I think, I think there's something up here, maybe? I just want to check to make sure. Am I going to the boss's room? Nope, it's locked. Never mind. Nope, locked. Okay. Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what's gonna happen. Kind of. So, what's the next step? With the airport closing down all? Sure. Well, there's the great flying job I applied for. I did an interview with them the other day. I think I got a good chance at it. Still a long way to go, but that'll help me build some more flight hours. Wow. To think that you actually come so far. It feels like only yesterday we were still standing on that balcony. Thanks for giving me the kick I needed, by the way. <laughs> Happy to oblige. Hey, any progress with that lady from the orchestra? Sophia? Well, we've been talking. And? I don't know, I might try to ask her on a date soon. But, well, you know I am with that stuff. Wanna help me prepare? <laughs> oh, I'm not sure if I need much help with that sort of thing. But if you want advice, I say just work on making yourself more interesting, blah blah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Still a work in progress. We haven't been talking as often lately, you know? Sometimes even when I'm here, you just do your own thing. I know. Sorry. It's just been so busy. A good kind though, right? Seems like you've got it. Seems to me like you've got it together. I. Hey, you gonna take up that flight the boss offered? <laughs> Barry said that there's a grass strip near the hill that we used to go to, right? Might be a good time to try landing there. Yeah. You coming along? Mm-hmm. Received no drifted apart. Thought how such a simple wish of being happy could be so tangled up. He sure didn't make it easy on us by being ambiguous with the details. Here, I got an idea. Receive permanent marker. <laughs> there, now let's go get paid. You moron, you can't just draw a smile like that. Lips are red, not black. Great job, now it looks like an affectionate joker. We have almost burnt through all the memories, haven't we? I guess. The vortex should be just up ahead. Good. Maybe that'll help us get the source of what he wants. As if we don't know what that already. Huh? It's her, obviously. There's a reason she keeps on showing up. This guy's clearly got his childhood sweetheart on his mind and he's been asking what ifs. He wants her, but he's got principles, so he knows he can't have her. The perfect equation for a sad, sad man who needs our help hacking the root of the problem. Are you suggesting to remove her? Well, if we do, you'd be the expert. Wow! 
Better call back, Neil. But whatever happens, we have to change something. And in the end, she's the one we could alter the most anyhow. Colin himself said we should try to avoid changing things involving his family, right? And, all, and out of these memories, space the only other consistency we could keep coming back to. I guess you're right. We could start with her and work our way up from there. <sighs> Something still doesn't add up. Hello! Could it be? It's me, Roxy! I'm here! Oh. Hey, it's the light! Someone from the outside peering into whatever's going on. I don't know. How's it going in there? Uh, awesomely, of, of, of course. <laughs> How are, are, are you doing? Did you bring the paperwork? I forgot she was coming down. Hello, Roxanne. Lovely to see you again, darling. Yep, I brought the paperwork, all right. I also brought Rob. What? I can't see that guy. I can hear you. Hi, Rob. Hey. Anyway, you guys want to come out real quick to get the paper one done? We're kind of on a roll here. Maybe we should ask them to help us with the papers. Oh, uh, by the way, Neil, I was going to ask. I found the machine. I think I s I'm heading out. Get the forms ready for a fill-in. Wait, what? You know the protocol, Eva. Cullen's our patient now, and one of us has to check the forms. Yeah, but we've let others help before, and headquarters never cared. Uh, maybe we should have cared, Eva. Maybe we should have cared. When were you one for protocol? Anyway, get that last memory link for me while I'm gone, will ya? I won't take long! And call me when we're ready to go to the next memory. I don't want to miss it. Hey! Act 2. Wow, that was only Act 1? Wow, that felt- that was so long. <laughs> So, uh, let me get this straight. You took apart the whole machine because the maintenance department sucks butt. Look, it was the easiest way. How'd I just left it to the company process that would never have gotten done? Much like this paperwork. Oh my gosh, I just realized you're talking and writing at the same time. <gasps> That's amazing! I hope I didn't cause you to make a mistake. I'm so sorry. You know, sometimes even I can't tell if you're being sarcastic, and that's saying a lot. Come to think of it, you actually remind me a bit of someone from this patient's memory. She's wacky and all over the place, too. Oh, bet I would love to meet her. I'm sure you would've. Too bad we're gonna have to do something about her. Anyhow, whoosh, the paperwork's done inside. Thanks for bringing in the docs, Rox. I'm gonna check in on Colin. Oh, you're just gonna get away like that? <laughs> you might have fooled Eva and Rob, but did you think you could fool a fellow technician? I did a quick diagnostic, or diagnostic earlier. Seems like you've done more than just removing the stabilizer. The machine you're using here isn't even your official Sigma equipment, is it? Because your registered machine is back at headquarters. In your office. I don't know what you're up to, but I'm gonna find out. Hey, Rob! How's the situation looking? It's fine. I was talking to the medical doctor and... Oh, that's what the murderous atmosphere. Oh, Rob, you're tripping again! <laughs> uh, no, I am not in fact tripping again. Is everything going okay in here? It's <laughs> swimmingly. Neil was just gonna check in on Colin. Yeah, I'm gonna go check on Colin. I'm gonna get out of here. Hey, about earlier. Never mind that. How's progress with the patient? Uh, just swell. We've almost unlocked his entire timeline. Then we'll just send the signal and BAM! The job well done. Sounds like you've got everything under control. You bet. 
Hey, look, I still think I owe you an explanation for what happened earlier. When I said I couldn't stand you, I swear it was only because I thought you weren't listening. Uh-huh. Move along. Your coat is so shiny, Neil. Did you get a dry gland? How can you switch tones like that without third-degree whiplash? Oh, I'm sorry. So, yeah, about your machine- uh, Yup, dry cleaning is just the best! I love Roxanne, she's great. Oh, wait, what's that over there? It's shiny! Oh, it's the photo album! So cute! Huh. A whole lifetime of memories, and we barely ran into any of them in these nice ones. Receive note, photo album. Oh, that's true. Taking a breather, huh? Paperwork, mostly. How's he looking? Colin's okay so far, but you guys sure are stirring things up in there. Stirring things up? What do you mean? It's his brain activity. It's been abnormally high for a sedated patient. Try not to aggravate him too much in there. Wait, what? But we haven't been doing anything different compared to any other patient. Hey, I'm only telling you what I see. Anyway, just try to keep him- keep it in mind. I'll continue to monitor his status. Interesting. Something is going on. She's not going to hear me like this. View connection status. Extend on neural connections. One operator profile. Stop right here, Rosalind. Ava, do you hear me? Neil? Yep. How's it going in there? Just trying to find the last memory link. Still? There's only one left. Yeah, I just... I don't know, I've looked everywhere. But at the scan shows there's one more here somewhere. I'm gonna find it. Are you done with the paperwork? Well, I just... Damn it. Where are my pills? Neil? I don't know, I have left them in the car again. Hey, you still there? Sorry, I'm not finished with the paperwork yet. Ugh, how long does it take to fill and sign some papers? It's, uh, I'm almost ready. I'll come back as soon as it's done. Alright, just make it quick. It shouldn't take that long to get to the car and back. Ah! I wonder how Colin's wife's holding up. Where is she? Is she up here? Yes, she is. Hello, Sophia. You're out early. I uh, just need to take care of some things. Uh, I'm headed back soon. That's good. Bring up Colin's memories? Yes, let's do it. We're done connecting most of the past through Colin's memories, by the way. If you'd like, I could tell you about the things we found. I thought that would be considered confidential. Yeah, but you're his wife. I personally think you deserve to know. Thanks, but I'm okay. Aren't you at least a bit curious about the things we found? Sure, but there was a time where I had been dying to know every detail. But now, I don't think it matters much anymore. Perhaps you know some things that I don't. Maybe it didn't change my view of things. Still, even then, it'd just be another complete piece of reality. And even after a lifetime where all is said and done, I feel like the best I could do is simply to stay with the reality I've come to peace with. There is, however, something I want to ask. Only because I feel like it's meant for me. Did you find anything about why Colin put this book here, and like this? No, I was actually gonna ask you about it. He's had it for a long time now, but it keeps on replacing his pages. And now it's just filled with blank with pieces of blank paper. If you find something about it that's meant for me, please do know. That's all I ask. Understood. I'll keep an eye out for it. 
All right. Oh. Hey, wait. Dr. Watts, right? I know I haven't been the most welcoming. You probably know why by now. But I know you're just here to do your job. So, thank you for helping him. Yeah, no hard feelings. Gotta get my pain meds! Does the dude still open the door if I go over this way again? <laughs> it's like, oh no, sick corp! Bye! Hey, mister! I knew you'd come by here! Oh, it's you again. Thanks for kicking Amber's doll in the pond for me. I really appreciate it. Uh, y yeah. Is that your mother? <laughs> it's okay. I hope you traumatized that kid. She's been picking on my potato for years. It's time she learned her lesson. Now that I got an even smaller potato, I was really starting to worry about the future. You... Uh, named your other kid Potato too? Of course not. Don't be silly. It's just a nickname. His real name's Spud. Oh. Dear. Oh! By the way, the front desk man says you're here to visit old man Colin. You know Colin? Yeah, he once literally beat up Amber for me. <laughs> Did I use that word right, Ma? No, dear, you meant figuratively. Oh, aw. Whatevs. <laughs> so anyway, last week, Colin gave me his leftover jar of lemon juice. I haven't seen him since then, though. Could you please give it back to him? Wait, lemon juice? What for? To write spy messages, of course. It's invisible ink! I've already written two secret letters to Spud for when he can be good! Old man Colin said he was already done using it, so I could borrow the whole jar if I wanted. Oh. Huh. Lucky me. Received note. Lemon juice. So, could you give the jar back to Colin? Well, I don't think Colin needs it anymore. You could probably keep it. Wow, he thinks! I'm gonna write a letter to myself! Okay, Potato, it's time to head back home. All right. Eva, are you calling from the machine? Yeah, at least this function's still working normally. Hey, listen, I think I might have figured out Colin's book with the blank pages. That's not important. Right now, I need you to check something for me. Uh, what? Bye! Is everything okay in there? Did you find the last memory link? No, are you at the computer? I can be. Good, could you run a record search on Faye and check for any aviation accidents? You think she was in a plane crash? I just want to rule the possibility of something out. I'll send you the extracted, her extracted profile. There's enough data even without a last name. Let me know when you have the results. Okay. Ooh, things are getting interesting. Uh, nope, I, I gotta, get, gotta get my pills first. Hello! Hey, Rox, it's still on your laptop, right? Yep, yep! I just forwarded a profile to you. Mind helping me run a record check? Sure, mind telling me what you're up to with the machine? Uh. Okie dokie, lucky pokey! I'm settled then! I'll call you back with the long as well! Hey, but I'm still working on the- Neil? Can you hear me? Uh, yeah? Hello? Are you there? I'm right here, what is it? Neil, if you could hear me! Listen, I don't think she- Eva? Uh, you still there? 
Weird. The comm must be malfunctioning. I'll fix it as soon as I get back. Birds! Oh! Who's... who's on the motorcycle? Wait a minute. Huh. That's a nice bike. Sure wish I had one like it. Man, so many phone calls. Jeez. Eva, what happened earlier? No, it's Roxy, you silly putty. <gasps> oh. Uh, so how's the record search going? Oh, it's going just great! Actu actually, no, it's not great at all. Well, what Rob's saying is that it depends on your perspective. <laughs> what? Is that a yes or no question? Did she die in a plane crash or not? Well... Sorry, I just had to send a message. So, here's the great part. There's no plane crash to her record, so you won't have to worry about that. Sheesh, why did you just say so? A simple no would have sufficed. Well, that's not all, though. Thing is, not only is there no plane crash, there's nothing else to her record either. In fact, there is no record of Faye. As in... No record available to the public domain? As in no record in existence. Anywhere. Dun dun da We've checked the cumulative the cumulative we checked the cumulative public record, the private ID network databases, even well, even a few places that we technically don't have access to. Still, there's no record of her for anything. No death? Not even birth. Oh. Oh! So, unless Colin's got some extreme form of distortive, distortive amnesic condition, he doesn't... He doesn't. I checked. Yeah, so... Uh... Oh, sorry, I got another call. Hello? Well, things just got creepy. Oh, Act 3. Even if it was just someone like me. I didn't read what the thing was for Act 2, but I'm assuming it was a quote of sorts. Hey, where are you two going? Company called. We got another patient living, going, going, to live, going live across town. Yeah, I gotta hop. Sorry, Neil. Night call, huh? Should have taken a nap. <laughs> We're all used to it by now. Seems like you've got a handful to sort out yourself, huh? Yes, if what we yield it means what I think it means, you might be in for a tricky evening. At least from our experience, patient capable of that tend to be rather... Uh, peculiar cases. Well, I've read the patient's case, by the way. Here for a word of advice? Well, you're probably gonna give it anyway, so... I don't know the details of Colin's life, but this reminds me of a case we've done. Just try to remember that making someone happy isn't only about finding the answers. It could also be about shaping the question. Interesting. Anyhow, good luck. By the way, I uh, don't think you're getting off the hook easy. After this is done, you've got some explaining to do, don't you? Uh. And it's gonna be so much fun! See ya! I'm looking forward to it! Oh, wait, something just occurred to me. Although I'm not sure why yet, 
I do know that you removed the machine's stabilizer. But with the patient's subconscious being narrow wired to the system's processor... Well, I hope you get a backup plan if he's able to get around its single-threat firewall. I don't know what that means, but that sounds bad. Oh, that's not looking good. Hey, Sophia, I think I found- We can talk later. Please head back in there for now. Seems like something's gone wrong. Hey, I think I saw your partner spa spasming just then. Is something wrong? Uh, of course not. We've got this. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back in there now. Okay, I'm counting on you. Let's go! Eva? Where'd you go? Probably best not to provoke anything before figuring out what's going on. I should find Eva first. Huh? A link to his timeline's overworld got unlocked. Even if Eva's not he there anymore, it's easy to look for her from there. It's your overworld. Ah, here we go. It's the the linking thing. Funky. Eva, are you here? Oh, I'm the little wispy ghosty thingy. Every memory of Colin that we've pieced together so far. Gotta be in one of them. Hmm. Where could she be? Not here either. vortex of the anomaly that's been bouncing us around. I guess it's near the memory where we left off at. Dang, Nabbit, how could you be in the machine but nowhere in the memories? Unless... System, narrow down Eva's most recent position. Well, duh, a freaking Bermuda Triangle. Guess it's back to the crime scene. System, load up all available recordings from here. Heading out, get the forms ready for filling. Uh, oh. Yep, blah 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 blah. Flipping corn cobs, how can this one memory link be so hard to find? And that idiot sure is taking a sweet time. Wait a minute. Are you at the computer? 
Good. Could you run a record search on Faye and check for any aviation accidents? I just want to rule out the possibility of something out. Nine forty-four. Oh, Neil, can you hear me? Hello, are you there? Neil, if you can hear me. Listen, I don't think she's real. She's she's all in his head, and something strange is happening. Hello, say something. Oh, oh, that's not good. Oh, and they're both gone. Oh, oh, I love when things glitch out. Yep, not creepy at all. Not creepy in the slightest. What is this? What? Oh. Hello, Faye. You. What did you do to Eva? Oh. Okay. What the beep is this? It's straight up turned into a horror game. I don't like this anymore. <laughs> Damn it, this isn't the freaking... Genre of patient I signed up for. Well, it's seasonally appropriate, isn't it? <laughs> what do you want? Leave. We can't leave. This is our job. Call and sign for us to be here. He changed his mind. Leave. You don't belong here. Fine, you wanna play hardball? Let's play freaking hardball. You may have the host subconscious, but I'm still the admin of this world. I never thought I'd have to use this, but you leave me no choice. It's time to show you my true power. <laughs> Yeah, you good? <laughs> this gesture control interface was a terrible idea. <laughs> there we go. Ah, uh, let's go. <gasps> Is this freaking Toksatsu? Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! I can't believe Neil was part of Star 5 this whole time. <laughs> oh my gosh! Stop! This is so funny. He's a dual wielder. Oh dang, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> you think I'm gonna show mercy, you're just, you'd be sadly mistaken. Give up now and maybe I'll consider- Hey, we got the second link! Aw, oh, man! That didn't last long. Oh, we don't have the second lake anymore. It's like... Please leave. Well, you tried, Neil. Dang, we didn't have it. This is so not what I built that back door for. I guess even my code needs testing before practical use. Ugh, what the heck happened to Eva? I need to get to the bottom of this. Seed note. Faye. Oh, sweet, I'm running. I need a sense of college to get me back to the overworld. Wait, 
Is there anything over here? Nope, I guess... Listen to the overworld. System, narrow down the positions of rogue mental activity. And all of them! She's split up everywhere? Where to even begin? It's that when things are batter crazy. Here somewhere. System disable interactivity for all non operators, including Colin. been here since the beginning, haven't you? You've only had a glimpse of his life. Don't speak as if you know the beginning. What the? What is this place? You tell me. What? Wait a minute. This... This is my unfinished interface. How are you even here? Where's Eva? Why should I tell you? You were going to remove me from Colin's memories. Uh, we weren't necessarily gone. You're here to do your job, are you not? You said yourselves that you'd start with me and then work your way up. We only said that because we didn't know you could hear us. Wait, that came out wrong. But listen, you need to believe me. I'm on the patient side, not the contracts. This, this is just a misunderstanding. We're here to do what's best for Colin. You can work with us to make that happen. Hmm, that does sound enticing. It would be nice if that were the case. But should I believe you? Well, let's see. No. Oh. <laughs> Ow. Access to current memory denied. Commencing force booting. Hey, wait, I'm the admin! Damn it, she, did she... Did my own system just elope with my patient's freaking imaginary friend? Well, this is quite a predicament. Turn <laughs> somehow. You. That was you walking by here, wasn't it? That's none of your business anymore. This again. Hey, look over there! <laughs> okay, this isn't fair. You're basically wired to this processor. Well, why don't you just give up and leave us alone? I know Colin signed the contract, but he only did that out of desperation. He didn't understand the consequences, but he does now. Listen, I don't know what you take us for, but we're here to help him. I mean, I don't know exactly how yet, but at least give us a chance. 
Just tell us, tell me where Eva is and give me us the memory link so we can finish the job. Your colleague. To tell you the truth, I don't actually know where she is. And as for the memory link... And no. <laughs> You'll have to go through me. <laughs> oh, this is... Oh, this is the fight! Oh my gosh. That was your choice, so be it. That's not fair, I can't even leave a mark on you. Ah, shoot. Oh, I remember the first time I did this. This was hard. Ah! How do I get through the birds? There's no chance at all. Ow. Access to current memory denied. Commencing force booting. Okay, this sucks. Well... So, how'd you buy a ticket for that seat? I wasn't even here in the actual memory. Get it right. Hey, look, that paper plane thing was totally uncool. But, what did you mean when you said you don't know where Eva is? I saw the footage. You were the one who locked her away. No. All I did was lock the communication channels and give her a scare. I don't know where she went afterwards. In fact, she disappeared soon after you returned. Disappeared? Isn't she unplugged from the machine? Yeah, she's no longer here. And if you don't leave too... Well, I'm... I'm gonna make you leave. Uh. Wait, how are you even accessing my prior programs like this? Ow. That wasn't what I was asking at all. I can't even shield their attacks. Really? Aw, oh, man. This is like totally unfair. Is this anymore? Dang! Did Eva really unplug the machine? Maybe I should too. Wait, but if I'm not here either, Faye might be even be able to set her progress. At least there's at least I guess there's at least some use in keeping her busy. Right, this one is an SCAPLE copy of him. Wait a minute. This is the last successful memory where we received a communication copy of Colin. Not quite as bright as the real thing, but sure beats nothing at all. Colin, can you hear me? Oh, you're back. Yes, listen, I need your help. Oh. What the- Hello? You locked down the one who created you. That- No, that's not the real Colin. That's merely a partial copy of him that you created. Man, she's powerful. What the heck? Look, we don't have a lot of time left. If Colin's wish is to be fulfilled, we need you to work with us. You still not understand? Colin's wish is no longer something you can grant him. His wish now is for you to be gone. What did you do? What? I didn't do anything. Unless... Eva? Hey, that wasn't so bad anymore. Wait a minute. 
Sweet, it's a Christmas miracle! Don't get ahead of yourself. Oh, back again at the airplane battle. Yes, again. I won't let you get to him. Invincible during those times. Oh shoot! No! Dang it! I almost got through that. Ah oh, shoot! <laughs> ah. Oh come on! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, that was so close! <gasps> oh! oh my gosh! I, I think I remember the first time I played this, I absolutely failed like so many times. I wasn't able to get through it. Rogue activity no longer detected in this memory. Finally, something's working! This is just a call and still lock somehow. Eva, are you here somewhere? Hmm. Is there something here? No, I don't want to return. Good try, but I sure don't recall the poster looking like that. You look like a little distorted, by the way. Ah, oh, there she is. You try seizing in there and looking the same. I was wondering where she was the first time. Come on, you've lost your edge. That's quite the confidence for someone who just got lucky. There's still time. Work with us and we'll make the best of this. The best of this would you be leaving. <laughs> the best of this would be you leaving Colin alone. And I'll be the one to make sure of that. Are we fighting again? You know I can take you on now, right? Try me. Shoot! 
Ah, oh, freaking cool. Let's retry. I want to retry. I want to retry. I want to get this. Haven't had enough? Guess not. Man! Ugh! Why is this one so much harder than the flight one? Ugh. I could stall here forever, you know. Uh, technically, no, which is why I suggest for you to stop. Am I so bad at this one? Ah! Dang it! Fine, I'll accept the outcome. I, I don't want to do this anymore. At least something better seems to be happening. Maybe he's having better luck. External patch installation initiated. What the? Is that you, Eva? This wasn't here before. Oh, Eva, you're back! Welcome back! Where'd you go? Eva, there you are! Where have you been? I've been looking everywhere for you. Did you see Faye around here? Don't worry, I took care of her. Already? What did you do? Oh, and, uh, uh, sorry about the mess. Here, I probably should have cleaned it up. You know, I've been thinking that we should just leave. Wait, what? The patient clearly doesn't want us here. We should respect his wishes. What are you talking about? The patient don't always know what they really want. You all people should know. Wait a minute. Aww. I guess it's no use. I should know by now. You aren't just gonna leave. I really don't know what to do anymore. But I have to keep going. Even if it just stalls you. Uh. Okay, wait, hold on just a minute. Oh. Well. That's not good. Wow, these clouds sure are as fluffy as they, fluffy as they look. Okay. Uh... You've gone on for long enough. But this is where your trespassing ends. Oh, now we're in for a real RPG battle, right? Oh my gosh. Let's see. Shoo! Ouch. Okay, let's try something else. Hey, let's go! 
Wow, Tagman's fur, it's not cool. Armageddon kit. <laughs> this is so funny. You know, for an imaginary character, your attacks are kind of vanilla. <laughs> Sorry, defending. Look, we don't have to do this. And forfeit, why are you still here? R Rude dog? Oh, it's an army of dogs. Ugh, I could really use some help. Ouch. Attack with shoe one final time. What the? Hey, Rudog joined the party. Uh, all, all right, Rudog. Nose laser. Oh, let's go. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> Dang, nab it. Uh, let's keep going. <laughs> My voice is starting to get a bit raspy. I see that you haven't learned much. Hey, it's hardly fair to fight me when you're practically this world itself. Well, you aren't exactly that, are you? Because if you really do represent the actual enchained subconscious of Colin, then, uh, well, you could have done a lot more by now than turn this whole construct against us. You're just a single loose mental strand, far from being able to speak for Colin. Sure, I may not represent his entirety, but so what? Colin got lost, and it's hard not to be with all that you tempt him with. That's okay, though. He might not always know that what he wants, but I know what he needs. Uh, but you could very well be wrong. I mean, no offense, but you aren't much more than the incomplete copy of Colin back there. In fact, I'm not even sure if there's a point in talking to you right now. After all, you're just an ethereal figment of his imagination that never even existed. Perhaps so, but is that any different from what you're here doing? Oh. Hey girl, what's up? Eva? Hey, sorry I had to head out for a moment there. She's all in Colin's head, by the way. Uh, yeah, I'm intimately familiar with that by now. But what were you doing? You just bailed that on me. I was now administering sedatives to curb Colin's brain activity. Not sure how this mental process could override us, but it was getting out of hand. So that wasn't a Christmas miracle after all. It took a while to work out the dosage, as we still need his brain functioning. Seems like it's working though. The effects should be sinking in more now. Wow, just what have you been dealing with over here? Uh, don't ask. What the heck is that? Just some new code Roxy sent me. She said she saw issues with the machine earlier and knew we'd be in trouble. Wrote a patch in the car while Rob was driving, apparently. <laughs> Show off. Did, uh, did she say anything else about the machine? Aside from you doing a crappy job with the self-repairs? No, not like there was much to talk about. She saved your butt, Neil. Be grateful. Actually, I'm still not sure if Colin's stale enough for this to work yet. Ugh, seems like the day of still needs to sink in a bit more. This isn't good. We don't have time to wait around anymore. Actually, let me try something. You just wait here, cause uh, she might come back this way. Neil, you son of a gun, what are you up to? Hey, hold on a minute. It's only a matter of time now, isn't it? 
I may not be able to beat you, but don't count on my compliance. No, I'm not here to- Actually... Wait... Wow, it worked! What? Now you're bringing me here to get back at me for earlier? No, I brought you here for privacy. This place should be off the record, even from Eva. Uh-huh. And what do you want? Your cooperation. I thought we went over that already. Sure, but now that I have something to offer you in return. What can you possibly offer me? Something mutually beneficial, actually. And even if you don't care for it, I have a feeling that Colin would. Interesting. How'd it go? She never came back this way. Well... How? Your talent. Rox has her tricks, and I have mine. Okay, no need to overcompensate. Ouch. <laughs> Are we good to go then? Yeah, she won't be bothering us any longer. Not that she'd be able to anyways with the sedate of sitting in. Well, that effect is only temporary. We have a little time as it is. Come on, let's move already while well, we still can. Are we finally going on to this next memory? Guess it's not exactly a journal after all. Wait, where's the... Oh, wait, is it... Sheesh, why are they just spreading hibiscus seeds wherever they go? Yeah, it's this one, okay. <laughs> yeah, Neil basically signs a contract <laughs> with an imaginary friend. Okay, so we gotta do this all on our own. So I guess we gotta get everything into, like, one of these, like, columns over here that's got enough space to get them all together. Hmm. Easier said than done, obviously. That would destroy it. That brings that over. And you can't move it on this column, though. Hmm. Man, yeah, it's tricky. Oh, I guess it's not that tricky. Never mind. I got it. What am I talking about? I'm a genius. <laughs> oh, this is the grassy patch they were talking about. Well, let's go and see what we find at the vortex of all this. I have a guess. Didn't exactly stick that soft landing, huh? Not like I had much practice on an actual grass strip. So, uh, you think this is the case of schizophrenia? Well, with that, the patient usually has trouble actively, actively distinguishing delusion from reality. But in this case, I get the feeling that he's actually well aware of it. Still, can't say for certain, but I'm leaning towards some kind of defense mechanism instead. The more curious question is how she's able to materialize here so vividly. That being said, could she still hear us? Don't know about that, but... <sighs> it should just be a normal memory playback now. <laughs> what you waiting for? Come on! Haven't you ever heard of the phrase, stop and smell the roses? There are flowers on top of the hill too, you know. <laughs> I'll race you there!
Hey, I was thinking, it's a little windy today. Uh, maybe we should come back some other time instead. Oh, don't be such a downer. We're practically already there. <laughs> hey, you remember when we played Catch Me If You Can? <laughs> the wind? It wasn't there a moment ago. I think this is coming to the end of the game pretty soon. Okay, what's the matter now? Well, let's just rest here for a while. Again? You barely walked any steps! Hey, I'm the one who has to carry this thing uphill. Oh, I just thought you had gotten stronger by now, that's all. The cello got banger too, you know. Just come and sit here with me for a bit, will ya? You remember the first time we came here? Which first time? The second one, I guess. The one where I tried to race you up the hill. Oh yeah, that was a dumb move. <laughs> you sure were excited to take me up there, though. Yeah, it had been a while since I took anyone there. It's still one of my favorite places. I always like how it overlooked the city. It really, it's been a while, hasn't it? I rather miss going there. So, why are you hesitating? Huh? We're mere steps away from there, you know. Why are you stopping every step along the way? Stop kidding yourself, Colin. You're not tired, and it's not the wind. We've already come so far. You know as well as what I, as I, what we have to do. First time we came here? That uh, was the first time I accompanied you to play the scales too, wasn't it? Yeah. It helped. It still does, actually. Well, no one likes to practice scales alone. But, you could never actually hear what I was playing, could you? Ah, yes. CG. It's nice up there today. It's always is. You don't have to leave anymore. I can fly now. Whenever you- wherever you go, I can go with you. You really are stubborn, aren't you? Don't you think you're getting a bit too old for me to stay? People would laugh at you if they knew. They can laugh all they want. I don't care. You made me who I am today. I learned to fly because of you. I kept playing the cello because of you. You taught me to practice the scales. No, Colin. I can't teach you anything you don't know. Nor can I make you do anything you don't want. Oh, look at the clouds! Oh my gosh! Cello! Maybe all you really wanted was for someone to be there. Even if it was just someone... like me. I know it's mesmerizing here, Colin. But you've been spending so much time with me and imagining what couldn't be. Don't you think they're forgetting what actually is and that all that could be? Sometimes stepping out of this little world we've made, it's the only way to notice and appreciate all the beautiful things all around you. There's a cloud plane, or plane cloud, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I just... I don't want to be alone. 
Sure. If I go, you'll be alone at times, even when you don't want to be. But that's all a part of growing up, and it's all a part of life. It's what makes fleeting moments with loved ones treasured, and our memories precious. It's also what drives you to seek out what you wouldn't find if you just stayed here with me. There's a lot out there just waiting for you, Colin. I can't promise it'll always be good, but... I know you won't find all that you need living only in these pages of ours. You brought me into this world. I won't forget that. And while some things are meant to stay, some things are only meant to carry you so far. In my own way, you know I'll always be there to protect you. And whatever comes, if it's something we could do, then it's something you could do. <laughs> what do you say, Colin? Are you ready? I don't know. I don't think I'm ready for her to end. I don't care what you are or aren't. You were my first real friend. Hey, this doesn't have to be the end for us. One day, you might look back and realize how fast this precious life has passed you by. And on that day, I'll come back once more. And <laughs> we'll talk like we how we used to, and you'll tell me about your day. <laughs> no, about your life. You'll tell me about what a happy life you had and all the nice memories you've made. I might not have had such a happy life, you know. You're such a downer, you know that? Have a little faith in yourself, Colin. Of course you will. I know you will. It may take a long time and it may take a lot of work and effort. But when that day comes, I know you'll have lots of happy memories to share. It's almost time. How much have you written that book by now? You replaced its pages so many times, huh? I must... I must talk a lot. <laughs> Sorry about that. And now that I'm going, perhaps you could finally spare more pages for other things. It's your book. You don't have to always write about me anymore. It's just like life, right? Same book filled with all kinds of different pages as it should be. Take care of yourself, all right? Hey... I still haven't said goodbye yet. You already have, Colin. A long, long time ago. <laughs> Dang it, it got to me! <laughs> Came back, did she? Guess not. I wonder if she's a cause or an effect. Hmm? As in, do you think I'm Colin's unhappiness because she never came back again? If Colin only wanted to see her again, I doubt he would have needed to call us. Yeah, so perhaps her absence at the end meant that he was already unhappy by then. Back to square one. Uh-oh. This place is destabilizing again. We don't have much time left. Let's move. We have to make do with what we have. 
Wait, do we even know what we're doing with them yet? I have a few ideas as a tribe, but we still need to link the mementos first. Let's get back to the overworld and figure things out while we do that. Alright. Uh oh. What the heck? Oh, wait, just a Oh, crap. Well, that's not good. In my own way, I will always be there to protect you. Yeah, that's a pretty- that's a pretty deep line. It hurts. <laughs> Neil? What's taking you so long? This place is falling apart. There's no time to wait for him. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh well, this is... There we go. Excellent. We've connected the mementos. I think that's all of them, but... Uh-oh. Oh, snap! Was that a... Hi, Neil. Where are you? What is this place? Oh, this is weird. It's memories. Falling apart. Call them. But when you go through the procedure and live that new life, just hold on to something from here. It's not like that for you. I won't forget about you. blink of an eye, suddenly there's no more time. I find myself here just like everyone else. I just want to feel like I've done enough in this world before I go, you know? That's why we're here, Colin. Tell us your regrets. What is it that you want us to fix? Jellyfish! You leave so much little we leave so little time in this life and we never be able to do all that we want. No matter what we do, there'll always be other things we want to try, other paths to take. <laughs> Did it spill in your dress? Hey, <laughs> just one more excuse to jump in the lagoon. You know, we don't have to waste all that lemon juice. Have you ever tried writing with it? Lemon juice? No, why? <laughs> you then prepare to be mind blown by some elementary school magic. Get this, it's invisible ink. Invisible ink? Yep, the writing appears in color only when you heat up the paper. Come on, I'll show you. Let's write something with it. It's been a while since I've written. Well, never too late to start again. How about a letter? To who? 
each other, of course. You can write about this trip. It's been kind of a journey, hasn't it? And at the end of it, we could show each other what we wrote of it all. Why was this not a part of that memory earlier? Why would you even consider? Why would you toss aside everything we have for something make-believe? I'm not tossing aside anything. We all have regrets, be it writing wrong or dream, lo dream long past. A statement Corp would give you that second chance to make things right. Because with our help, it's never too late. Wait, these don't seem like just randomly scattered memories. Could they be the sedatives wearing off? You are different, even from the man you were when I first met you. <laughs> you're no longer aloof, you know? When you're here, you're actually here. I know it's mesmerizing here, Faye said after, spoke after a pause, shifting your gaze back up to the sky. But you've spent so much time with me in imagining what couldn't be. Don't you think you're forgetting what actually is and all that could be? Okay. Look, I got it. I got your message, you hear me? I know you're still here, you can come and get me now. I mean, I really thought it was her. Oh, psych. Uh, wait, is that really the only way to- <laughs> Ow. Where the hey have you been? I figured it out, Eva. I figured out the impossible. I mean, it took an unholy amount of spoon feeding, but I guess that's what I guess that's what it takes when we're on the inside of it. What are you talking about? Yes, just what are you talking about? Hi, Faye. Sedative, and we're off already. You don't sound too happy about it. I'm here to help call it, and you're in the mental process and in the way. Well, lucky for you, that can be attended now, can it? So, looks like we're about out of time. If you're going to race me for good, you might as well hurry. No, we're not gonna race you. We're gonna erase us. Wait, what? Colin never needed our service, Eva. He already had her. The ability to change his reality to live in a different world? One that one one that was filled that filled the gaps of what he wanted all in his head. She is what we do, Eva. And yet, she left. She left, which could have only meant one thing. What you're trying to imply. No, that can't be right. What we do is different from just this. How is it different? We, because there's more to it. There's more to what we do. We fulfill wishes. We give meaning to people's lives. What we do, it has to be more than just the, that of an imaginary friend. It's a lot more elaborate for sure. But for someone who had to fight just to let go of fantasy and embrace reality, maybe our existence was merely an unwelcome amplifier. A reminder of the make-believe, the imaginary. And the endless possibilities that make reality seem less than what it is. Hey, you two, things aren't looking good with the patient. I don't know what you're up to, but you might want to get out of there. And by might wanna, I mean need to. After all that, huh. I guess none of this even matters anymore. There's no way we'd still have the time to make any actual changes. 
No, we might not- we might not have the time. But what about her? She's already linked to the machine's interface, right? Without us, all the procedures would be internalized, so much could be done in a fraction of a moment. You're suggesting giving sole control of the machine to a mental process of the patient? The ethical implications of that... It hasn't been done for good reasons. It hasn't been done because no patient has a chance like this. Besides, what's their alternative? Just leaving Marcus as a write-off? But what about legal complications? And the contract, it says... Oh, come on, Eva. When has the contract stopped us? Uh, guys? Go on. I'll be right behind. Don't say I never trust you. Why are you doing this for us? Well, if I were calling on my last breath... I trust you over two strangers in white coats, right? Strangers, huh? Your colleague was right about one thing. <laughs> there is more to what you do than just play God with people's memories. You've been here just for a day, yet... In all of his lifetime, no one has ever has truly seen the world through his eyes like you have. And well, you're kind of the first I've been able to meet, too. In some silly way, maybe that's a part of what Colin really wished for. It was one heck of a meet and greet, that's for sure. Full system admin. Full admin access transfer to unknown credit... Cred... T... D... T... L... Fay. That thing. Whatever. <laughs> Faye has the power. You gonna be alright? Just a little nervous, I guess. Well, given the circumstances, I say that's pretty alright. Hey. Do you think that in some ways I truly existed? Well, for what it's worth, I think all our memories and everything in it can't give me nothing but fiction we tell ourselves. Good luck out here. Colin's counting on you. All right. See what you got, Faye. His blood pressure is dropping. Vital signs are fading fast. I think he's letting go. I'm sorry for your loss. Please take all the time you need. I'll be in the living room with the paperwork. When they're ready, I'll let them know. Always a little stark, isn't it? Seeing it like this after just having been in there? Eh, it's what it is. It is what it is. I'm just a little cold. It felt warmer in there. What we did back there. Do you know if it worked? Hard to say. I'll try to dig through the data afterward, but... 
Well, it's never been done like this before. I don't know how coherent it'd be. Yes, we got another mess of a report to write. We can take care of that when the dust settles. In the meantime, I just remembered something. So, did you succeed? There was a complication. We tried to cope with something unorthodox, but... I'm not sure if we'll ever know what really happened those last moments. Hey, Sophia said you got a lighter? Uh, yeah. The invisible ink is revealed. I never stood up very tall. I think my voice was fairly small. There were times I'd want to shout Though my thoughts weren't sorted out So I'd stumble and I'd fall I learned to fly because of you So if you left, I could go too And everything you saw what I wanted to be Did I make it after all? All the grass on the other side Is it only greener in my mind? I'd still want it the same Because trading my yes Day is to wish my life away. As we dream and as we grow. We have to learn to let things go But let the wonder never fade Though we've turned 10,000 pages Flying high or stuck below I've searched for meaning amidst doubt I finally figured that part out And all the stories inside me Feels like I'm bursting at the seams And you're here after Trading my yesterday is to wish my life away.
It's funny, the first time I, I heard that song, like, I, th I thought it was pretty, but <laughs> it, it certainly didn't hit like it, it does now. Fucking <sighs> <Jeez. laughs> for someone old timer. It's been a while, huh? A long while. We haven't changed much. And whose fault is that now? <laughs> Listen, I wish you were under better circumstances, but... I know. I wish it's all time to tell you about all that's happened since then. It's okay. I was there. I'm only here to say goodbye. Just tell me one thing, though. You still have any regrets? Regrets? Yeah. I have a lot of those. But... That's okay. The chance I miss the mishaps and all that I wish I had... Well... They were all still a part of it. They made the way for all that I do have. And what I do have, I wouldn't trade for anything else in the world. That's all I wish to hear. Go on. They're waiting for you. Time to go home. Hey, Colin. Sorry I had to lay back then. Thank you for being there. For having been there. Even when no one else was. Well, it's good the game is over. I ran out of tissues. <laughs> This game is so different to like to the moon. 
like to the moon there's like you you know from like the very beginning like it's it's just gonna be very very heartbreaking throughout the entire game but this one has just so much you know hope and whimsy to it and then it just really hits at the end I think that's a really, really cool shift to kind of set them apart with the kinds of stories that they are. <sighs> really good. Well, <laughs> sorry, that was really gross. <laughs> up where are you i'm at scotch drinking home you said you'd be here you said i'd visit like we always do not attend the funeral when was the last time we even did that i know but i just thought we owe it to him after uh, dr Rosalind. we're about to start go on i'll get my turn All right, enjoy your scotch. You know it. Liar, you're not at home. Now, where were we? Roxy! Ooh, not looking sketchy at all, Neil. I asked you to knock, not hack my lock. Switching the digital was a terrible idea. Why don't you just keep both locks on? Dang it, Rob, I don't know why she even got you involved. Look, we don't have long. Are you guys still in or not? <laughs> you betcha. So, is that the solution you were talking about? Yeah. That's her. You're talking about Faye? Right, I forgot that Roxy was in on it. Roxy and, uh... Uh, uh, Robert. <sighs> Thank you for being part of this. Thank you for creating this. Another beautiful masterpiece. Oh, that was great. <laughs> <sighs> well, now I've uh, played through all all three main games, all the mini episodes, extras, fully caught up with this uh, game series. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Absolutely stunning. If I had to be honest, I think this one might be, like, out of the three, this would be number three. But it's still a fantastic game. I mean, if a game can make me <laughs> feel for it that I'm bawling my eyes out, like, I, I consider that an amazing game. <laughs> Aw, thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> Even through my my crying, <laughs> I've somehow managed to, to keep going. <laughs> you know, I would love to play more games like this, you know? like this kind of RPG element sort of thing and do more fun voices for you guys. That'd be, that'd be really fun. <laughs> and I'm, I'm totally open to suggestions for games if, uh, if you want to leave any. There's a whole world of games that I've never experienced before, so I'd love to, you know, check things out and uh, see if uh, I want to give it a chance. Yeah. <laughs> well... With that said, uh, it's been almost seven hours. This is the longest stream I've ever done, and I hopefully never will do a long stream like this ever again. <laughs> Luckily, I had some food and water with me, otherwise, I don't know if I'd really survive. <laughs> uh, but thank you all for joining me for these seven hours. <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of fun. I really I had a lot of fun with, with you guys. <laughs> so. Uh, 
Honestly speaking, I don't know if I'll stream tomorrow. <laughs> I was planning to, but now, now I might take the day off. I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> um. Oh my gosh. It's midnight in the UK? Wow. Thank you so much. I, I, I appreciate that. Please make sure you get some rest as well. <laughs> I'll be sure to get a good night's sleep after this as well, too. I think we all deserve a bit of rest. Rest our souls, rest our hearts, and rest our minds. <laughs> and our eyes. <laughs> oh yes, Raccoon! Yeah, okay, I- yeah, I've played that game as well, but I haven't played it in a while too, I'd love to revisit it. Oh, that would be so much fun. Yeah, okay. Totally, I'll totally keep that in mind. Alright, yeah, and, and um, any other games you, you guys think of, just, uh, Put them in the comments or whatever, or what? You want, yeah, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> and uh, I'll I'll look through them and then see see what what there is uh, that we can uh, play together and stuff. It'll be, it'll be fun. <laughs> yeah. So I think it's time for me to, to sign off, get some more tissues, and get some more water. <laughs> and make sure you guys are staying hydrated and stuff as well. It's getting colder, so I'm sure you're. Feeling well for the upcoming uh, cold weather. So, until we meet again, bye bye!